This might be a little bit loud. I apologize. <laughs> Because Nick told me to. Yeah. Oh, hey! Cluck in the Chowds. <laughs> I have to play Cluck in the Chowds at the beginning of every vlog now. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Pow, there it is. Hello and welcome, everybody. Welcome and hello. Today is Mother Truckin' Thursday, which means it's Mother Truckin' Vlog Day. At least that's what it says on my notes right there. It says Vlog Day right there. So I think we're doing the right thing at the right time at the right place. But uh, welcome, everybody. Happy to see you here. I got another full-on action-packed vlog planned out for everybody tonight. There's no timestamps on the screen. When was the last time we did timestamps on the screen? But... Those timestamps are going to be the first pinned comment right underneath this video for anybody watching on the hashtag replay crew. Please make yourselves known. I like to hear from you and I like to like your comments and I like to respond back to them. I get to know the live people so much. Honestly, between you and me, a little too much. I get to know the live people often. I see them all the time. I see them week after week. I know that Jangles is going to give me a hard time about saying busting. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Jingles. So hashtag replay crew, make yourselves known. The timestamps are the first pinned comment. Welcome. I see you guys there in the chat. Microwave oven's here tonight. Microwave oven's here tonight. Uh, sporting a new picture. Breeze tons in the house. The 60 watt guy, James Rivera. Hey, Niffler. What's going on, Niffler? Happy to see you here. Dion78. We got Ashton Palmer with his arms wide open. Janine's here, Azra's here, Jangles, there he is, Rhett's Beard's here, Apathy Miller's here, George Boy, aye, aye, George Boy, Alan Osborne's here, just showed up, Felix is here, I love it, appreciate you guys being here tonight, should be a real fun vlog, we got a whole mess of stuff to talk about, in fact, let me give you a real quick rundown as far as what's going on, what's coming up tonight, uh, I got a beer, yeah, of course I got a beer, I got a raspberry flavored beer, flavored alcohol. Can you believe it? But I got a beer. We're going to talk about what I've been vaping. Um, we don't have Assignment America this week, but we do have some comments of the week instead. Some very interesting comments of the week that's going to send me off on a whole other tangent. We're also going to sing happy birthday because it's my mom's birthday today. I'll tell you the whole story when we get to the birthday time. I have a really hard time remembering my mom's birthday. We do have a retro vaping tonight. Evening to you, Mick Blizzard. I see you there. Oh, thank you. Love to Indonesia. Hell yeah. Love to Indonesia. It popped by. Couldn't even see it. Hell yeah. Love to Indonesia. In fact, that reminds me. There it is. Love to Indonesia. We've been vaping uh, some Indonesian liquids over here, bro. Jundi over there at Vape Zoo has been, been helping out and, and, and hooking me up. And I, uh, I appreciate it. Frames Janklin Vapors here? Hell yeah. Anyway, uh, what, what else are we doing? Besides retro vaping, which is, uh, it's in here, but it's not a Cali burn. You're going to have to trust me on that. Uh, I do have some news. I've got a whole mess of news. In fact, news might go just a, a little bit off the rails tonight in, uh, in an angry, rantily kind of way, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I've got a bunch of mail. Uh, we're going to do a liquid tasting. I am going to do, we're going to do a contest tonight as well. It's not a Star Wars contest. It's not a Star Wars contest, but it is another type of contest. Should I get out the prize? Hang on, I didn't even get out the prize. Oh, oh no, here it is. Here it is, found it. The prize, the contest prize tonight when we get there. Uh, it's going to be a brand new, literally never opened. That's plastic on there. Literally never opened full matte black dual 18650 ethos boro kit. Hell yeah. How about a contest? And maybe if we have time getting to know Grim Green, but you know what? We never have time for that. We just, we just never do anymore. Um, real quickly, uh, real quickly, first things first, I found my wallet. Yeah. I found my wallet. I just wanted to update everybody. Uh, I, I had posted on, on my socials that last Saturday I lost my wallet and I had spent hours, hours looking for my wallet, like actual hours looking for my wallet before I posted on social media that I was spending my entire Saturday looking for my wallet. 
I knew it had to be in the house. That's the thing. I wasn't too worried. I knew it wasn't out anywhere. I know it wasn't in the car because I remember the last time I used it was after the vlog last week when I bought popcorn. I bought some of Addie's popcorn, which she killed it, by the way, killed it by a mile, exactly like we wanted to. She killed it by a mile. My popcorn hasn't arrived and I'm just waiting for it to arrive. But I remember buying popcorn in my office with my wallet. And so as I'm, you know, stomping around the house trying to find my wallet, I just kept repeating that out loud to myself over and over again. I said, I know it's in the house because on Thursday I bought popcorn. I know it's in the house because on Thursday I bought popcorn. My wallet ended up in the dog treat cabinet and it's not what you're thinking. It's not what you're thinking in any capacity. You probably think uh, that I was on some, uh, you know, a uh, big hashtag shed time bender and I thought that the dog treat cabinet would be a good place for my wallet. I say to you, no. I put my wallet in the same place every time. It's in a drawer. It's just right there. It's just a drawer. It's the junk drawer. Every house has a junk drawer, I think. It was not a 420 moment. Every house has a junk drawer, you know? It's where you put receipts and rubber bands and pens and like Sharpies and like the plastic thing for that one part that you're not sure you're going to need. And then like mosquito repellent refills and like some old, really old like masks are in there and like wadded up bundles of headphones. You know, everybody has the junk drawer. It was the junk drawer. It was the junk drawer. I had put my wallet in the junk drawer. And when I opened the drawer, expecting to see my wallet there, it got stuck and pulled to the back of the drawer and then flipped out the back of the drawer and fell down behind the cabinet, behind all the dog treats into the cabinet below. Of course, it was the last place I looked and I remember walking over there thinking, that would be crazy if it fell into the dog treats. It was the last place I looked. I tore the house apart, tore my office apart. It was a whole big thing. I said, I'd be crazy if it fell into the dog treats. So I opened the dog treats, pulled them all out. Sure enough, my freaking wallet's just sitting back there mocking me, mocking me. If I wasn't such a, like a logical, rational person, I would say that my house was haunted and somebody moved my wallet to the dog uh, treat cabinet. But since I live in reality and planet earth, it was definitely just my fault. I opened the drawer, pushed it, fell back, but for a full day, I thought I'm gonna have to cancel my credit cards. I'm gonna have to get a new driver's license. I literally thought my wallet was gone. Back me up that losing your wallet is like one of the most traumatic experiences ever. It's just this sense of fear and like, oh God, where did it go? Where did I put it? It's not my spot. I put it in the same spot. It's not in the, sp you know, it's not in the spot. Anyway, Murphy did it. Murphy stashed that. He took my wallet. Well, that was another thought too. So I kept looking under all the couches, like everywhere Murphy goes. I thought usually when Murphy steals something from my office, be it a bottle of liquid or, you know, a trash item or a flat ray box or something, there's always evidence of it. He's always has it in his mouth or it's near him or it's like, oh, you stole that. Let me get that. Every time he's eaten my glasses, he's had them in his mouth when I caught him. I didn't find them like destroyed. So I thought if Murphy had taken it, I, there'd be evidence of this. I would have it, like there would be receipts eaten out of it or something, like a mess. There was no mess, nothing under the couches, nothing under the bed. Found the wallet. So everybody can sleep good tonight knowing that I lost my wallet. It's Yeah, the lost phone is traumatic, but the lost phone... I can ping my phone now with my watch. So I don't even worry about my phone. I just toss my phone wherever, leave it wherever. Cause I can always just, boom, where's my phone? Seek it out like a, you know, like I got divining rods and I'm looking for water under the ground. Yeah, that's a thing. So I had to, let me mark that. Let me write that off the, uh, yeah, wallet update. I found it, I found it. So what I would like to do literally right now is should we do super chats or a beer? Let's do a beer first. Hell yeah, it's time for some beer. 
Uh, there was, uh, who did I just saw in the chat? I just saw someone in the chat. Shane, Shane Roberts. Hey, fucking love you too, man. Thanks for catching a live. I appreciate you being here. Let's drink a beer. I believe this beer came from the, uh, the tribal Buddha collection. This is a, this is a tribal Buddha beer. Uh, it was sent to me in a, in a gift pack of, of many delicious beers that we've been through. This is another one. Ellicottville Brewing Company. Ellicottville Brewing Company is, uh, I literally know nothing about it. I'm assuming it's a, it's a Ellicottville Brewing Company. Where are you located? New York. This stuff's made in New York City. Uh, it's made in New York. This is a East Coast brew, Ellicottville Brewing Raspberry Beret. This is, I believe it's the Imperial Raspberry uh, because it's 7% and it's barrel aged. It's a barrel aged fruited sour. Now, I did watch some other reviews, some other reviews of their, uh, of these beers. And there was a few people that said that this beer was the sour beer that like got them into sour beers. And so to me, as like a not super sour beer person, you know, I've become a little bit more of a sour beer person over the years due to you guys constantly sending me sour beers. But I've become more of a sour beer person over the years. So to me, someone saying that this is the sour that got them into sour beers, that seems like a, a really glowing endorsement. And uh, I'm really looking forward to pouring this. I'm assuming, oh, that's not what I was expecting at all. I don't know what I was expecting. I guess I was expecting a little more red color since it's like a uh, raspberry beer. Omsla, yo mother trucking yo to you, bruh. Appreciate you being here. Look at this delicious beer we're pouring. Look at that. Look at that. You remember the Pace Picante Sauce commercials. Listen, I'm assuming that everybody in here is generally around my age. Like maybe we've gone to high school. Like maybe we could have gone to high school together. So I know that you remember those. I know that you remember those. It does kind of look like an IPA. Stern over there keeping it real on Twitch. It definitely looks like an IPA. Smells like sour raspberries. Just... It's such a trip to look at this and you think it's going to smell like malty barley hops and an IPA. And then it just smells like a, well, it smells like a raspberry beret. Smells like intensely sweet, tart raspberry. Here's the thing. Cheers. This is for you guys. Hope you got something good next to you tonight. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 I can really see how this is uh, someone's first, like getting into sours beer. It's not like a, it's not sour. It's a sour. Okay. It's a barrel aged sour, but it's the least soury sour that I've had. It kind of has a really like clean American lager style, like vibe to it really re really clean and light but it's got this intense raspberry i don't know why i keep looking at the can i'm like what did you just do to my mouth raspberry beret it's got a really intense very sweet raspberry just raspberry flavoring over the whole top of it yeah it's a little sour I get a little jowly right here, you know, when, you're, when your mouth starts watering. I get a little jowly in the jowls, but it's such a clean drink down and it's sweet. It's like, it's very sweet. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Hang on, Dane B. Where am I scrolling right now? Bella. 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 You got to understand. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not real. Is that real? Is 
Is that really real? I mean, I'm assuming that you wouldn't fuck with me like that, but. That, that's a uh, really fucking horribly sad. I'm really sorry to hear that. Damn it, I'm really sorry to hear that. Not Richard. <sighs> Fuck. Fuck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. That's, I mean, I'm gutted. I'm gutted. Fuck. All right. Here, this is for Richard. God damn it. Wow. Uh, Jesus. I don't even know what to say. Like, I'm completely gutted. That is devastating. Valerian Steel. It's for Valerian Steel. Oh my God. Wow, that I was just I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just com like completely taken aback by this. God damn it. Yeah, I mean. Whew. Yeah, I mean, Jesus, I hope he's I hope he's resting, you know, I hope he's, uh, yeah, we met him in, in Louisiana. Such a good dude. Such a good dude. Yeah. I mean, you never know what's going on. Damn. Well, you know, I, I, I was, yeah, I can't even, I can't talk about this. What are you crazy? What are you crazy? All right. Well, I feel like he would want me to do the vlog, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Valerian Steel or simply Richard. Fuck. Damn. Uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna, I guess we're gonna vlog. I guess we're gonna vlog for Richard. God damn it. I hate that. I hate that. This fucking world, man. It's bullshit. Okay. All right. Well, uh, what was I in the middle of? Uh, beer? It's a good beer. It's super fucking good. It's honestly one of the best sours I've ever had. And thank you, Tribal Buddha, for sending it. But yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I, I talked to Richard so many times. We met in real life. We hung out in fucking Sifu's house. We bonded, you know? Uh, wasn't expecting that. Woo. Wasn't expecting that. So. God damn. All right. Uh, that's, I guess that's going to end the beer segment. Let's, uh, let's read some super chats. What a, what a punch to the gut that is. Woo. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm devastated. That's a horrible, horribly sad. So Yeah, I mean, listen, if it's all the same, I might take a second real quick uh, and you guys can can 
see what I've been vaping. It's kind of a funny segment. I tried to crack some jokes. So. What I've been vaping. What have I been vaping? I mean, come on. What a great question. I have actually, I've never been asked that question before by anybody ever. I really, like, I rarely talk about the things that I've been vaping. So in order to talk about the things that I've been vaping, we have to come out here to the living room because this is where all, you know, the non-office vaping happens. My desk is a is just a, a wasteland of devices and mods all set up. Some of them work, some of them don't, but the, the best of the best, the things I really like to vape, they make it out here to the living room. My spot on the couch, here's the side table in question. It is a lot of mouth to lung stuff and I'm starting the mouth to lung stuff off with this thing right here. This is the Vaporesso Cause. It is a personal charging case and pod refilling system. It's not perfect but it has worked pretty okay. And the vape from this little tiny little dinky little coil head, really top notch. It's a real, real tight draw. And it feels like they have like the world's tiniest little like cross three coil in there. It's vaping as good as the cross threes. As far as the whole charging and filling thing go, look, saving that for the review. I mean, I guess two more pods if we want to go down the pod road. Just did a review for this. It's the Weenax Geek Vape Weenax Q. Like I said in the video, these coil heads show no signs of slowing down. They are still just as rich and flavorful as, I mean, basically as they were on day one. It's kind of amazing. Got that new pop reel pod going. Also been pleasantly surprised by this. was my Matt Cully impression. Pow, it's that cherry pine MV combo in orange and orange, and I just love the crap out of it. We got some face meat, cheese your guava jelly 2023 in here. Mouth to lung, just delightful. I think this is the 1.5 millimeter airflow, and it's just such a change from that uh, steam shell that I've been using with a one millimeter airflow in it. By comparison, this just seems like a cloud chasing RDA now. Obviously, that's a huge exaggeration, but it just feels, the point is it feels very, very much more open. Uh, new Cool Fire from Inakin, also in the process of getting a review. I was so thoroughly impressed with the Z coil head on that little weird goes that I don't think the review is up for yet, but should be up soon. Love that coil head, had an amazing time with it had very high hopes for this coil head, seems a little different. You know, I'll, I'll leave it for the review, but the Cool Fire, the new Inokin Cool Fire Z80, I believe it's called, is thoroughly getting put through its paces. And if we're gonna cloud chase the living room, I really have only wanted to cloud chase the living room with one thing since Tuesday, and it's the Clutch X18, my vapes here. Osiris, Osiris is the name of this RT. I was sitting here looking at this going, oh, over, Oz, 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 Osiris. Look, we built this on the Tuesday Vape Fiddle on Twitch. It's a little bit sharp and loud in the airflow department, but overall, I find it really, really very enjoyable. And the flavor is, I'm gonna say it, Jangles, it's busting. Rich Kids of Instagram is in here. This is a liquid that I have literally been vaping since 2015. Uh, it's one of my legacy liquids. I love the shit out of it. It tastes freaking wonderful in the Osiris. Sorry, Osiris Mini. This is the Osiris Mini. The Osiris full size. That's a desk warrior that hasn't been getting much use. Cloud chase your living room. Th those have been it. Those have been like my main go-to vapes, hence why they're out here. I know for sure that I have some desk warriors on the desk, but I'm gonna let the other guy tell you about that. Hey, other guy back here. Uh, yeah, 
Bella, I'm, I'm so sorry. And uh, I, th I think we're just going to finish this vlog. You know, we're going to do this vlog. I don't think stopping is the, the right answer. Um, there's no way that he would be like, hey, stop the vlog, cancel the vlog. There's just not a chance. So with that said, I'm sorry I'm in a little bit of a somber mood. It might make me uh, extra ragey during the news segment because there's a lot to be ragey about. I was already ragey today um, and really like in my feels, you know, really in my feels. And that was just, woo, <sighs> fuck, that's too much, too much. It's too much. And we're going to do it. We're just, we're just going to do the damn thing for Richard. And as long as nobody writes any real tear jerking super chats, then I think I'll be okay. <laughs> I never, I, I just can't talk about it. If I meant, if I say anything about it, I'm going to start sobbing and I'm just weeping all star hugs. I have autism. And if grim green said hi on camera, it would make my year. Hi. Hi to you, all-star huggies, hugs, hues. Happy to see you here. If it was real life, I'd give you a hug or a high five or something or whatever you want. Give you a thumbs up, do a little fist bump for you. Happy to see you here. Hi to you. Hi to you. Uh, let's go check in on some Super Chats, friends. No, no. No, no, rifle man. No, no wall punching. Never never wall punching ever again, never wall punching ever again. And if I'm going to punch something, uh, my wife has a heavy bag hanging out in the backyard. It's not my heavy bag. You'd come back in the backyard and you'd think, Oh, Nick, you got a heavy bag. I'm like, Nope, that's my wife's heavy bag. It's a giant, like 200 pound heavy bag. She uses it for Muay Thai. She kicks holes through it. So, uh, a few times when I've been too over the top, I had to make a effort to like, okay, Instead of punching a wall, I'm going to go outside and tape up my hand and put on a glove and punch the, you know, take my aggressions out on the heavy bag. That's it. All right. Uh, Slater, uh, very gracious of you, Slater. My dog sporting the mohawkiest of mohawks in a patched up battle vest started throwing elbows and feet across me screaming, give Grim money. So here it is. I, for one, Slater... <laughs> I'd like to see your uh, your dog's battle vest. I'd like to see a little canine battle vest. That would be the most adorable thing on the face of the earth. Uh, the Great Seamus says, uh, the real estate works have been driving me nuts this last week, but finally vlog day is here. We've got a ton of cool kids hanging and all is well. Seamus, I'm happy that you're here. You know, real estate work driving you nuts. Forget all about that. Let's drink beer and let's vlog. Uh, Rhett's beard. Yo, yo, Happy birthday to Mama Green. Cheese your jelly and remember to keep your eyes closed. Ghost Rider at night. Yeah, hashtag Ghost Rider at night. We're going to do Ghost Rider at night. We need we need a Ghost Rider at night now, Rhett's Beard. We need it. Uh, Richard Kellums, uh, thank you for all you do. I appreciate you. Richard, I appreciate you, man. Thank you. Appreciate you being here. It's a, it's a labor of love for me, man. Uh, I'm just a big cheerleader of vaping, you know. Uh, Vicky Benji, scam bait? what uh missed you at the yo-yo meetup last weekend nick wish you could have been there I, I i really wish i could have been there i'm planning on i'm finally getting out to ohio i'm gonna head out to steel valley vapors at the beginning of september for the yo-yo meetup i missed it in florida but it looks like you guys had a, a really good time hanging out together it looks like everybody there not only needed that but had a great time and uh that that makes me happy that you guys got to do that makes me stoked vicky Stoked, Georgia boy. I, I lost my wallet a couple times. <laughs> I lost my wallet a couple times, but I'm so glad you found it. Uh, my, hey, Nick, love you, brother. Here's $5 vlog beers. Fuck yeah. Here's for to $5 vlog beers. Georgia boy, thank you very much, bro. I appreciate that. You don't have to. You never do, but I always appreciate it. Rhett's beard. Yes. See, this will make me sob. Rest in peace to Richard, AKA Valerian steel. You will be missed. Absolutely. You know, he made a big, uh, you know, like impact on us, on our group, at least on me and like meeting him and, and spending multiple, 
you know, dude, we went to Mardi Gras together. We watched the Mardi Gras parade together. That is bonding. That was a bonding experience, you know? Uh, yeah, I can't keep talking about it. I'm going to sob. Dalton, that's very gracious of you. Yo, yo, Grim just got my mom to start dual using. Hell yeah. Wanted to know if I could get a birthday shout out for her July 15th. Yeah, 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 a hundred percent. Dalton's mom. Dalton's mom. Happy birthday to Dalton's mom. Absolutely. We'll sing happy birthday. Frank. Oh, great. Yo, yo, Nick. Really enjoying the type two. Hell yeah, Frank. In- enjoy it. Vape it. Vape it. Just vape it. Vape it good. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Frank. Very much. Fishy. Take a minute. We aren't going anywhere. Thank you, Fishy. I, I really appreciate that. I legit, I did need a minute. <laughs> I needed some time with that. And then, you know, not enough time with it, but, you, you know, we do what we can. And it's going to be sad. It's supposed to be sad, though. You know, you're not supposed to power through things like that. You're supposed to just sit in it and go, yeah, this is sad and I'm sad. And it's supposed to be. Sewer rug. Uh, yo yo and salutations i am replay crew for this one as i am currently on the way to see paramore with the oldest kid have a boosh-tastic time everyone no time to waste like today so here i go enjoy paramore i got to see paramore on halloween uh in la at the uh what was that venue can't remember the name of it no completely escaping me right now incredible show incredible show paramore has never sounded better than than that show and like they're just killing it plus Haley williams you know she's my future ex-wife and i love her and i she can do no wrong uh sewer rug says simply richard this hurts to find out you will be missed sir much love and positivity headed towards your family and close friends yeah you know 100 percent, 100 percent sewer rug 100 percent. svk uh, was going to talk about how great Sunday was and my week has been top notch, but tell people that you love them cause you never know. Rest in peace, Richard. Hell of a stand up guy. Thanks Nick for the vape family. Love you. Hey, I love you too. SVK. I was happy to see you guys all get together in Florida. SVK was there. Jeremy V was there. Patrick conquest and his pants, I believe were there as well. Uh, jangles. <laughs> hey Nick, it's bussin. Love you. Boosh. Uh, no, <laughs> I'm just going to say no, it's not busting. It's busting. It's forever busting straight up busting nomad. That's very gracious of you. Thanks for all you do. And wondering how the apple cake turned out. Oh, from the patron stream. Yeah. Uh, great. Turned out great. Uh, I, I, I cut my butter too thick. I cut the butter too thick and I didn't put enough of the butters on top. I should have been cutting them thinner and putting them closer together. Lesson learned. There were still some dry, like cake mix parts on top. Didn't really matter because when you eat it, it just all tastes like delicious awesomeness in your mouth anyway. So I got some lessons learned for the next time, but it actually turned out pretty rad. It turned out super rad. (laughs) I destroyed a gigantic sliver of it, a gigantic like I don't even know. I just took a huge spoonful. It was about about the size of like a spare tire for your car. That's about how much I ate of that last night. Ray, just to bring some normalcy to the vlog, don't give them a sword and not let them use it. (laughs) Yo, yo, cool kids. Love you. Don't give a sword and not let them use it. Send them to war and then make them use it. (sighs) Guar. You always get me with guar. Janine, uh, just simply, I appreciate you and the kind human you are. Oh, thank you, Janine. I, s- same goes for you. I appreciate you and, and the kind human you are. Uh, I, I love following you on Twitter. I like seeing your replies to Twitter because you always, you know, you, you always reply in a very, you know, heart forward, human forward, like kind sort of way, even to people who are really, really, really wrong you still show that kindness. So I I guess I learned it by watching you, Janine. I guess I learned it by watching you. Barbara says, uh, my goal for tonight 
Eat half a dozen mini Klondike bars before they melt. <laughs> Do it. Hey, cousin, love you. Nicholas Pickles. Yeah. They used to call me Nicholas Pickles, and that's fine. And then because I married someone named Pickle. So it kind of checks out. Uh, half a dozen mint Klondike bars. Challenge accepted. I would go to town or just run a train on those Klondike bars. Like no one would even know. <laughs> Appreciate you, Barbara. Love you, cuz. Frames Janklin Vapor. Hell yeah. Booked my flights for Steel Valley last night. It's going to be a blast and a half. You better make it this time. Positive vibes. Crisp high fives. I, I, I'm going to say that I will be there. I'm just going to say it. I will be there. I'm going to look. I'm going to book my flights tonight when we're on the hangs in the in the discord tonight i'm gonna book my flight hell yeah steel valley let's get together let's be awesome and david nance that's very gracious of you you didn't say anything you didn't have to you never have to you know you, you never have to but i appreciate you all right let's uh let's wrap up some super chats uh we did what i've been vaping well, let's do some uh, favorite comments of the week. I don't have any uh, bumper for this. Wow, literally at all. Uh, maybe I could use this as my bumper. Whoa, whoa. Maybe I wasn't supposed to use that as my bumper. That looked weird. What was that? Can I see that again, Nick? Oh. Was that a was that a red skeleton empire being packed up and shipped? I don't know. You know it kind of looked like that to me. I'm not sure if that's kind of what it looked like to me, but uh, that could be what it is. All right, let's do some uh, let's do some favorite comments of the week. I had a few. Uh, you know, I go through my comments. I like to respond and and you know heart comments uh, on my YouTube, and occasionally I'll just screen capture some of them. And then eventually those will add up to enough to become a comments of the week section. So this is from, uh, this is from pr possibly all year going back as er probably as early as March, but I had one comment of the week here. It says, Hey Grim and chat. I missed last night, unfortunately. And it was my birthday, but keep up the good work, Grim. Uh, any update on the restock on uncommon? Uh, well, yes. The first thing, Chris, the vape guy, don't worry. I've already written your name down. You're going to get sung happy birthday to tonight, regardless of how close it is to your birthday or not. Um, uncommon is a thing now. Uncommon is a thing now. And I have to be very careful about what I say on YouTube about uncommon, but super good is doing pre sales right now. Pre sales. If you're in Europe or the UK, they're doing pre-sales right now. There's a, there's a password that you'll need that is Stormtrooper. You'll know when you get there. You'll need a password, Stormtrooper, and then you can get access to the pre-sale of Uncommon that's literally going on right now. In fact, hang on. Hang on. I have more information about this. Let me, uh, let me see. Hang on. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Maybe I don't. I thought I did. Maybe I don't. Uh, yes, hang on, hang on. This could be a real thing. Uh, nope. Okay. I thought I had an email. Maybe I do. Maybe I'll try to find it later. Uh, that sucks. I had an, I thought I had an email. Hey, that's okay. You know what? Hey, that's okay. But yeah. Stormtrooper is the code. And as far as the rest of the world, it's still on track to launch this month on the 24th. Super good. Uncommon Grim Green is launching on the 24th. And you guys know my friend Omboy OC, this guy? Uh, you know that guy? If you know that guy, then follow that guy on Instagram because he will have it. I think that's all I can say on YouTube without getting myself in trouble. In the US and for lots of other people, Omboy OC. S 
yada 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 on boy oc yada 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 now if you're in europe or the uk or the rest of the world super good has it they're doing a pre-sale the code is stormtrooper to get access to it that's it okay that's it okay now that that's over with okay so that's the updates on uh, super good. Appreciate that comment. Another comment here. Uh, Sock Puppet Theater. Hell yes. Uh, this was left on my uh, recent video I did about uh, smoking versus vaping, something like that. Uh, he said they don't give up. Neither should we. Keep shouting it, Nick. You know, uh, I am. That's all I know how to do. And he's absolutely right. They are relentless. Anti-vapers are relentless and they're well-funded and they're powerful people and it's up to us and i know that sucks like that's a crazy thing to think about but it's literally up to us to turn this around <laughs> you know we got to do literally everything we can uh, and that's why i made that video uh i it's one of those things where it's like well, all my subscribers know that vaping is better for you than smoking but I think this needs to be said. So uh, that needed to be said. I'm hoping next week to have a video all about nicotine, ready to go. Another uh, sciencey education video, just all about nicotine that hopefully will be, you know, quick six minute video that we can educate people and, and share, you know, make it a little bit easier to share this information around. I'm planning on doing that. We gotta do everything we can, you know? <laughs> we literally have to do everything we can. Number three here, Jeremy, I love this one. I love this comment. Hey, Grim, I quit swooping, smoking through vaping on July 8th, 2023. I used to smoke a pack a day. Now I vape. I have an Aegis Legend 2 in red and black. Hell yeah, Jeremy. Hell yes, Jeremy. He quit smoking on July 8th. That five days ago, Jeremy quit smoking with vaping five days ago and he's already got an Aegis legend two in red and black jeremy i love it i love it that again that's all that's literally all the fuel that i will ever need to continue doing what i do is people telling me that they quit smoking five days ago with vaping five days ago with vaping pack a day smoker quit five days ago with vaping i love the hell out of that um, this is a good example of, uh, this is actually a perfect example of not gatekeeping. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm an anti gatekeepy person. I think that you should just let people enjoy things. No matter how silly you think it is, just let people enjoy things. I think, uh, I think the worst kinds of people are the people that make someone feel bad for enjoying something. So don't gatekeep. And this is a great non gatekeepy. Uh, Paul said, I I'm going to sound like my dad, but like him, I'm honest. I absolutely can't stand the type of what you call music. <laughs> but from you, I have learned to say more for you, and I'm glad you like it so much and it brings you joy. Yes, Paul, I'm reaching people. I'm reaching people. More for you, more for you. I'm glad you enjoy it and it brings you so much joy. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. Thank you for not being gatekeepy. Thank you for not being a jerk. Thank you. Thank you. A uh, thank you. Appreciate you, Paul. Paul Paul's a, uh, uh, a prolific commenter, Paul. Paul, you're a prolific commenter. I mean, I know I'm going to get comments on this and uh, I appreciate you, Paul. Um. Last, uh, last comment of the week is going to send me into a little bit of a, of a rage here because this guy, Banglar Vape Ada, 1985. I'm not sure what he actually goes by on YouTube. Maybe it is that. But he says, sir, I am the only vape reviewer from India. Only vape reviewer from India. Vaping is banned in India. Like criminally offense banned Hellworthy trespass. If you're vaping or selling vapes in India, it is very illegal. Thanks to the World Health Organization. I mean, India has one of the highest adult smoking rates in the world. 
So it makes sense that the World Health Organization would just want them to keep smoking and encourage them to ban vapes. He says, YouTube is age restricting my videos, but others are fine with the same content. Will you please help me? What should I do? I'm probably, I am probably fighting Indian, India vape, India's vape ban, a lonely battle with these videos. Please help. I immediately felt for this guy, immediately felt for this guy. He's the only vape reviewer in India where it's 100% legal, illegal. Yeah, true facts. This man is risking his ass. So Earn, shout out to you, Earn666 chimed in and says, all of Grimm's videos are age restricted. That's just how it is on YouTube. You have to follow their horrible rules if you want to play the game. And yeah, Earn is, uh, Earn's spot on with this. Earn is spot on with this. All my videos are age restricted. The ones that aren't, I feel like have just snuck by, you know? I feel like YouTube just hasn't caught them yet. But anything related to vape or vaping or nicotine or if you blow a cloud or exhale or inhale in your video, age restricted. Age restricted, demonetized. Age restricted and demonetized. And then Bangar Vapada goes on to say, oh shit. They're running ads on alcohol mukbang videos and the problems with vaping. I was shocked to see this information, but it's very, 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 very true. I'm not sure if anybody in the chat is familiar with what a mukbang is, but if you're familiar with what a mukbang is, it's essentially overconsumption. The, it's always, it's usually food. You do a food mukbang. You know, it's like Nikocado Avocado. He went from a, a vegan health guy and then he did a mukbang and it got a bunch of views. So he just kept doing mukbangs. He gained like, you know, 200 plus pounds. The idea is you get so much food that no one person could eat all this food. And then you sit and film yourself overeating and overeating all of this food. People do like fast food mukbangs. People do lasagna mukbangs where they just eat like 19 pounds of lasagna. They eat a shit ton of food. Mukbang. It's a, it's like a YouTube, you know, genre or something. Mukbangs. There are alcohol if you don't have an air Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I was muted. I was really going off there too. Sorry. I should have looked at should have looked. This is an alcohol mukbang video. Alcohol mukbang with ads on it. Watch. Play. This is an ad and I'm not signed in. So it's not age restricted either. So YouTube will age restrict me because I'm trying to tell people to quit smoking and will demonetize me because I'm trying to tell people to quit smoking, but will not age restrict and will not demonetize literal alcoholism, like literal alcohol mukbang. This guy just drinks a bunch of Johnny Walker Black Label. That's it. There's other ones over here. Alcohol mukbang part three, Jack Daniels. Look at this, Corona mukbang. He just has a shit ton of Corona and he's gonna drink it on YouTube and he gets to be monetized and not behind an age gate. He gets to be monetized and not behind an age gate. But if I, God forbid, mention something about nicotine or that 
This device vaporizes nicotine. Uh, edge restricted, demonetized. Oh, what's that? Oh, you're doing an alcohol mukbang video? You're doing a hard alcohol whiskey mukbang video? Sure, you can be monetized and we won't age restrict you. What the fuck, YouTube? What the fuck, YouTube? And now here's the thing. I'm not trying to get him in trouble. I would just like the rules applied evenly and fairly. If I have to get in trouble for talking about nicotine, this guy has to get in trouble for doing alcohol mukbang videos. At least demonetize him. At least age restrict it. Dude, I could be an underage kid right now clicking on, what is this? Oh, alcohol mukbang? Oh, I'm going to go drink a bunch of black label Johnny Walker. That's crazy. That is crazy to me. Yeah. Alcohol mukbang. Here we go. That is absolutely bon bonkers. Yeah, I said it. I said it bononkers to me it's not age restricted and there's uh lots of uh alcohol mukbang videos alcohol mukbang royal stag we got the alcohol mukbang part four signature rare aged whiskey we got the corona alcohol mukbang so sure it's okay i i can't stand this i can't stand this it makes me insane I didn't know that alcohol mukbangs were a genre on YouTube until uh, this this uh, in India reviewer fella, Bangar Vapada, told me alcohol mukbang. It's a real thing. So, thanks YouTube, appreciate that. The world is fucking upside down. The world is upside down. Hence my thumbnail. Upside down. I feel like the world is upside down. Wait till we start talking about E Valley too. That's going to really stick in your craw. It's going to make me sound like a crazy person too, but I do believe it to be real. All right. Let's uh let's sing happy birthday. Let's I'm going to I'm going to try to lighten my mood uh just a little bit and we're going to sing some happy birthday. And just call it a glycerin mukbang. <gasps> I wonder, I wonder if YouTube would let me get away with a nicotine mukbang video <laughs> where I could just sit and cloud chase a whole tank, you know? <laughs> I don't think I could sit and cloud chase a whole tank. You think I could sit and cloud chase a whole tank? I didn't tell you what else I've been vaping, but it's a bunch of stuff you've seen before, so... There's nothing to nothing really too special there going on. No, YouTube, as far as I know, is owned by Google, who I believe is owned by Lucifer. Possibly someone worse. Who's worse? Bloomberg? Is Bloomberg worse than the devil? Yeah, I think so. Okay, you guys, uh, let's sing happy birthday. Let's sing happy birthday. Let's just do this. It's 5.30. We're an hour in. Hell yeah. Let's do some happy birthday. Let's do some freaking happy birthday. I can't believe that alcohol mukbang videos exist. That is crazy to me that you can, behind no age gate and fully monetized, you can watch a dude just poison his liver, <laughs> you know? You can do it. And and YouTube says, this is okay. We're going to monetize this. And, and it's not going to be age restricted. This is okay. What are you doing? What do you mean vaping? That's not okay. Demonetized. Age gate. I, it's like, what do I even do? You, you can't, as soon as you point out hypocrisy to someone, they go, oh, that's real bad. And then you like, what do you do to YouTube? Nothing. You can't hold YouTube accountable for that. It's impossible. So happy freaking birthday. This is my mom's birthday today, June 13th, July 13th is my mom's birthday, my entire life. And this isn't deliberate. This is just my dumb brain. I have never been able to remember my mom's birthday for a really long time. I thought it was in May. It's not in May. This is the first year I think I've remembered my mom's birthday ever. Took me 46 years, 
46 years to be able to remember my mom's birthday, but it's my mom's birthday. Happy birthday, mom. I love you like crazy. I don't think you're watching the vlog, but I'm still going to say it. I love you like crazy. And uh, we're going to sing happy birthday to you. Uh, as well as Chris the Vape Guy from the chat, as well as Steve O, even though I think we sang to him last week, Steve O and Dalton's mom. If anybody else has a uh, birthday, speak now in the chat or forever hold your peace. Clucking the chowds. Just clucking chowds over here. Just clucking chowds. Okay, let's sing happy birthday. Can we all sing happy birthday? Will you all join me in a, in a round of happy birthday? I, I've never been able to remember my mom's birthday. I just never have. I felt like a bad son literally my entire life, but my mom never really seemed to care. She was never bummed or, you know, I'd wish her happy birthday later and I'd tell her, I'd just be like, I love you, mom. I cannot remember your birthday for the life of me. She's like, I know, you know, I know it's okay. Happy birthday, mom. It's official. And I'm going to sing you happy birthday today and you can't stop me. So <clears throat> wait, Dickie Moe's birthday is Saturday. Why aren't you on the chart? Dickie Moe, Dickie Moe. Happy freaking birthday, Dickie Mo. What are you doing? Cloud Mukbang. Cloud Mukbang. I'm going to do it. I'm going to make that a video. Hang on. Let me write this on my other notepad. Whoa, Cloud Mukbang. Hell yeah, Cloud Mukbang. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. <laughs> I'm going to do it. Okay. Mm. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mom. Also, Chris the Vape Guy. Also, Steve-O. Also, Dalton's mom. Also, Dickie Mo. Happy birthday to you. Two, three, four. Skip around the room. 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 If it's your birthday, skip around the room. Mom, you don't have to skip around the room because you're having hip surgery soon. And I don't want to see you skipping around the room, okay? <laughs> no skipping around the room, Mom. No skipping around the room. But seriously, happy birthday. Happy birthday, you guys. I'm a firm believer in happy birthdays and singing happy birthdays. I like celebrating happy birthdays. So happy birthday to you guys. Um, should we do, uh, here, I'll, you know, I'll leave it up to the chat. I'll leave it up to the chat. We're going to end this poll. I thought this question was a good question. Would you rather have a itch that you can never scratch or, oh, why didn't the results come up? That's messed up. That's F in the A. Or uh, would you rather violently sneeze every 18 minutes? So literally every 18 minutes, you just violently sneeze or you have an itch that you can't reach. You can't ever scratch. You can never scratch it. No one can scratch it. No one can reach it. No one can scratch it. I think I'd rather have the itch, you know? I think I'd rather have the itch because I feel like maybe I could get acclimated to it Oh, and now it won't let me start a poll because the other poll hasn't popped up yet. It still thinks there's a poll going. Holy shit. Okay. Oh, the poll's broken. <laughs> it didn't pop up in the chat. The results did not pop up in the chat. Oh, it's still going. All right. End this poll. Still didn't end it. We, we, we may never be able to start another poll on YouTube because this poll will not end. I've clicked end poll three times now and it just will not end this poll. What if I did it this way? Did that actually end the poll? 
Nope. Is the poll still there for anybody? All right, fuck it. Uh, let's do some news real quick. <laughs> Good Lord. I was going to poll you guys to see what, what we wanted to do next, but uh, it appears that there is just an eternal poll going on right now that I cannot end. It just will not end. Oh, yeah, look at that. Still there. Still there. Okay. I want you to I want you to see that I'm doing this correctly. Here's the here's the poll. Here's the end poll button. Literally right here. Okay, everybody sees that? The end poll button. I'm gonna click it. Ready? End it. Nothing comes up in the chat. And if I go to here, it won't let me start a new poll. It's grayed out. But if I refresh the page the poll's back the fucking poll's back all right well the poll i think we broke the polls i think we broke the poll that means i get to choose my own very random liquid tasting oh <laughs> watch out world all right uh let's jump into some news i'm gonna put the the matt sinister countdown up here but it, it might not do us any good because i'm angry and there's a lot of things going on do you guys hear about alcohol mukbangs uh so i guess the first thing i wanted to mention is if you are in australia i'm gonna put this link in the description uh email your mp email your mp please email them uh, let them know that you're a vapor and you're in Australia and you are not good with the new uh, vape regulations that are happening in your country. This is from legalizedvaping.com.au. If you're in Australia, go over there, do something, email your local MPs, do you know, follow up with a call. The, the, it's, what's funny is the, the prescription model is clearly failing in Australia and Lots of people are noticing this. Lots of people are noticing. And I have a feeling something's going to change in Australia. I think sooner, sooner rather than later. Sooner, hashtag Tron Water. You might have to close the window, at, uh, close the browser and open it in another window. All right. Um, let's try this. Maybe it'll work. Maybe I can end the poll. End the poll. Maybe it just takes a second. Nope. That didn't work. Uh, end the poll? Did that work? All right. Let's, let's see if that worked. I ended the poll, but we'll just... <laughs> Maybe it needs like 20 or 30 minutes to kind of reset itself. All right. I don't know why I keep looking at that. Um, the next thing I wanted to mention is we're getting a new CDC director, you guys. We're getting a new CDC director. Mandy Cohen is going to be our new CDC director. Rochelle Walensky is on her way out. Mandy Cohen is on her way in. Thankfully, Jim McDonald did a little write-up about Mandy Cohen over there for Vaping 360. I did my own whatever Googling that I could find, and I could find nothing about this person as it stands in regards to vaping or harm reduction or how she feels about nicotine, smoking, vaping, harm reduction, any of that stuff, any of that stuff. But uh, she's a former North Carolina health secretary, Mandy Cohen. So, uh, I'm just going to read this little bit right here. It says Cohen served as a North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services secretary from 2017 to 2022, leaving to take a private sector job. Before that, she worked as chief operating officer and chief of staff at the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services during the Obama administration, uh, where she developed ties with several officials now part of the Biden healthcare team. Earlier, she worked on healthcare issues at the Department of Veterans Affairs. She is a doctor trained as an internal medicine specialist. That sentence 
gives me a little bit of hope. I know nothing about this person, nothing about this person, but that, that she is a doctor and she's an internal medicine specialist. Is there a little bit of hope right there? Is there no hope right there? I don't know. Ultimately, I have no idea. We don't know until we know. Outgoing CDC Director Walensky, who came to the job without any public health management experience at all, how did she get the job? How did she get the job? How do people slide into those positions? Oh, congratulations. You knew the head of, head, new head of the CDC. It's like, uh, I've never had any public health experience or public health management experience, <laughs> you'll be fine. Come on, this is the U.S. federal government. How bad can you do? Uh, outgoing CDC Director Walensky, who came onto the job without any public health management experience, was criticized for the agency's COVID response, including shifting guidance to states and allowing political influence to shape decisions. Over the past year, she has led an overhaul of the agency to speed up future epidemic responses. Cohen New Cohen doesn't seem to have any record of either supporting or opposing vaping as a harm reduction strategy. It says during the early days of COVID pandemic, she did urge people to quit using cigarettes and not to vape. That's it. That's the one thing she's said. Quit cigarettes and don't vape. I don't know where she is on the subject now, but that was three years ago. So I don't know. You know, a lot of this is just up in the air. Like Walensky before here, Cohen will probably allow the CDC's tobacco team to operate without careful oversight. Yeah, uh, it's one of those things. And Jim McDonald goes on to address this, but it says most CDC directors avoid tobacco issues. It's because the CDC it is split up, you know, much like the FDA into different little specialized things. So it's like the CDC office of this, the CDC office of this. So the CDC has their office on smoking and health, which she's not like in head of the Department of Smoking and Health. She's just the head of the CDC, which apparently has very little, you know, she has very little power or oversight with these other offices. So there's a good chance that we get a new CDC director and literally nothing changes because the office for, what is it? The office for smoking. I can't, I can't find it now. Yeah. The CDC office on smoking and health will probably not have a big shape up, shake up. We'll probably have the same people working there and they'll probably just keep doing the same things that, the, that they have been doing unless she comes in and like cleans house, which I don't, I don't know. I don't see her doing that. I don't, <laughs> it's like the CDC is so big, bloated and just slow and inefficient. How do you even get in there and start reforming things? You know, I look at these huge government organizations like FDA and CDC, and I'm thinking, how do you even start fixing something like that? How would you even start? Where do you even start trying to fix the slow moving monolith of bureaucracy that is the FDA? 14 years, 14 years vaping's been on the market. FDA, you couldn't have regulated them. Couldn't have regulated them at all. You waited 14 years and then you just start playing regulatory whack-a-mole with Chinese disposable companies at the border. I'm supposed to believe you have my best interests in mind that you want me to be healthy and safe. It, and on what planet does that make sense? <laughs> There's no planet that that makes sense on. Here, let's have some good news. I'm sick of angry news because we have more angry news to get to. Let's listen to some good news. We got another tweet from the London Tobacco Alliance. Hell yeah, London Tobacco Alliance. Uh, smoking will kill two thirds of smokers from tobacco related diseases. Chris Streather, regional medical director at the NHS England. So this is the government. National Health Services England explains why adult smokers should consider swapping tobacco for nicotine vaping. Let's play this loud. Maybe the World Health Organization will hear it. So, so professionally, tobacco is still the leading cause of avoidable death, um, and two thirds of people who smoke will, you know, who smoke properly will eventually die of tobacco-related disease. 
So it's so it's yeah, it's massively important as a health problem. Massive. In addition, it's a source of health inequalities. Um, you know, poorer people, more deprived people are more likely to to die from smoking. They sadly smoke more, but also they can access um, more dangerous forms of tobacco, sort of smuggled tobacco, where the tar levels may be higher. So it's yeah, it's, there's an equity and a fairness issue about reducing harm from smoking. And probably like all people of my generation, um, you know, our parents, our grandparents smoked a lot and, and the consequences of smoking were visited upon them, so it's personal as well. Look at that. That guy has like a personal interest because his family members have passed away from smoking. He says, this is really personal for me. Every smoker should switch to vaping. Reduce levels of literally everything. There's no tar in it. And he's absolutely right. The, the, the most disenfranchised people are the ones who end up paying the highest price for this, both physically and monetarily. What they've found is when you raise cigarette taxes, when you raise exorbitant cigarette taxes, like, yes, it does get some people to quit smoking. But what they find is that people with less disposable income or no disposable income will spend necessity money on tobacco and on cigarettes. It's like, well, we just won't eat dinner this week because I need cigarettes. Oh, we won't pay our electric bill this week because I need cigarettes. It hurts them more than it hurts anybody else. But that's like the default position. Oh, just raise the taxes. Just raise the taxes. They'll just, they'll quit or go, you know, they'll quit or starve trying to buy cigarettes. So uh, thank you to the London Tobacco Alliance for remaining a, a, a rational voice here in the fucking bananas world that makes no sense. And speaking of things that makes no sense here, we're going to go a little bit longer than four minutes, Matt Sinister. So uh, I love you, buddy. I'm going to say peace out to you. <laughs> I'm going to say peace out to you because I would like to talk about this. This is the title. This is, this is Evoli 2. I have been reading this and, and digesting it and thinking about it. And it, it, it does seem very, very plausible. And it only seems plausible because I've seen it happen. I'm watching it happen on lots of social media spaces like Twitter. You know, we had the Evoli crisis that was, as we all know, 100% linked to, we can all say it together, illicit THC cartridges bought on the street contaminated with vitamin E acetate. That was giving these kids lung condition known as Evoli and 60 kids even died because of it few thousand were hospitalized, 60 plus kids, they died from this. It was THC and it was vitamin E acetate and it had zero, one more time, zero to do with legal regulated nicotine vaping, zero to do with it, zero to do with it. And let me tell you, let me tell you, Nothing has made me distrust our federal government more than how they've handled vaping. Nothing has made me distrust the CDC, the World Health Organization, and the FDA more than how they handled Evoli because they used this Evoli crisis. They let teenagers die to drum up support for a fucking flavor ban on nicotine vaping. I watched it happen. If I hadn't watched it happen, I'd think that you're a crazy person. I watched it happen. I watched them mislead people and misinform people and tell smokers that you'd be better off smoking. Don't vape. Don't vape. Don't vape. e -volley. Don't even vape. Don't even think about it. E-cigarette. It's in the name of the fucking disease. It's e -volley. It's e-cigarettes, you guys. They capitalized, I watched them capitalize on this crisis in order to further smear and demonize nicotine vaping, which can literally save people's lives. I watched it happen. So this, 
This seems like it could be real reality to me. Let's read a little bit. Uh, we're going to read just a little bit right now from the, the Vapor Technology Association. I'm a pretty big fan of the VTA. I like Tony. I think they do good work. Uh, the greatest threat to vaping disinformation. Let's go. Let's read this. Uh, during this week's Next Generation Deliv Nicotine Delivery USA 2023 conference, which is why would you name your conference the Next Generation Nicotine Delivery USA 2023 conference? Weird. VTA's executive director presented a stark warning to industry leaders about a newly orchestrated anti-vaping campaign. The Next Generation Nicotine Delivery USA 2023 brought together 150 executives from the industry for two days of insight, discussion, and debate. Uh, uh, VTA Executive Director Tony Abood's presentation highlighted the misinformation surrounding Evoli that was used to malign nicotine vaping in the past and then revealed a highly funded, ongoing disinformation campaign that is being orchestrated to create a false narrative linking Chinese manufactured flavored disposable nicotine vaping products with fentanyl without substantiation literally in any way. And that's going to be the big buzzword is Chinese manufactured disposables. They're going to use that, you know, fear of China. We're all scared of China. You know, they gave us the China disease and with the embargoes and we, we kind of don't like China, right? As a proud red blooded, true American, I'm supposed to dislike China. I'm supposed to be scared of China. And so they're using Chinese manufactured flavored disposable vapes. Those are going to be the buzzwords. The presentation drew stark parallels between how certain players use the illicit THC cartridge E-Valley crisis in 2019 to attack flavored nicotine vaping and how the scant case of illicit THC cartridges being feigned to contain fentanyl are now being wrongly, wrongly amplified and tied to flavored nicotine disposable vaping products. This is going to be a big one. This is going to be a big one. VTA director uh, Tony Abood uh, starkly warned that the industry is facing a manufactured crisis. E-Volley 2. That's what they're calling it. E-Volley 2 in certain circles. E-Volley 2. The repercussions of which will be worse than e -Volley. He also warned that the misleading campaign alleging the mass importation of fentanyl tainted Chinese manufactured disposable vapes will threaten the entire nicotine vaping industry. It will taint all device types as they are all made in China and will force fear driven regulatory overreactions that will have nothing to do with the real issue and will confuse and frighten consumers back to smoking cigarettes. This is a real thing. Uh, let's look real quickly at Tony's uh, presentation, some of his presentation. I got some of these slides here. I got some of these slides here. And I I'm not going to sit here and say that I can debunk this, but we can certainly cast doubt. <laughs> I mean, in a really severe way about fentanyl. Like, think about this. Think about this for a second. You're going to start hearing that the Chinese those evil Chinese over there in China just being evil all the time, 24-7, evil Chinese, that they are manufacturing disposable vapes. I was going to hold one up, but I don't even have one on my desk. That they're manufacturing disposable vapes and then injecting those disposable vapes, get this, with fentanyl. So that... They can go to America, kill people. Does that make sense? I mean, is that a logical thing that you would think that, that people would do, that China would manufacture a shit ton of disposables, put free drugs in them, and then ship them to America, hoping that we vape them and die? That doesn't seem like real life. That doesn't seem like real life because that's not real life. But what we're going to hear over the next few months, especially leading up to the World Health Organization's COP10 happening in uh, wherever it is, it is, Panama this year, this is what we're going to hear. And I've already started seeing it. 
I've literally already started seeing it. So uh, Tony gave a great little uh, update, uh, like misinformation. Never let a crisis go to waste, right? We talked. He talked about Evali, how it started August 2019. Evali, you know, we get the pictures of the kids in the hospital. We get Minnesota, Oregon, California, Illinois, Kansas, Missouri, Indiana. Oh my gosh, Evali happening in all these states. Melania Trump is deeply concerned. I am deeply concerned about the growing epidemic of e-cigarette use in our children. I think she should have said with our children, but I guess e-cigarette use in our children also is kind of a fine thing. September 10th, 2019. Look at that. You got Mike Bloomberg, these two Muppet mouth losers on, on CBS. Bloomberg is saying that kids are dying. People are dying now. See, I told you Vaping's bad and kids are dying and people are dying now. Industry is advertising to kids. Bloomberg said, just think if your kid's doing this, he ends up with an IQ 10 to 15 points lower for the rest of his life. Bloomberg went on national TV and told parents that if their kid's vaping, then their IQ is going to be 10 to 15 points lower for the rest of their life. Oh, <laughs> oh, shit. Someone better tell all those like Nobel Prize winning smokers that they're really dumber than they think they are. They're like, well, no, you use nicotine. Bloomberg says you're going to be dumb. Bloomberg says you have a low IQ. Einstein, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like 15 past presidents of the United States of America were cigarette smokers. Suckers. You were all dumb and you just didn't even know it. Matt Myers called Public Health England bad science. Matt Myers called Public Health England bad science. Matt Myers, Campaign for Tobacco Free Kids, a non scientist, non doctor, called Public Health England bad science. And then just got away with it on national television. They're like, yep, you're right. I mean, it is bad science. I believe you, Matt Myers, campaign for tobacco-free kids. Then we get Trump banning flavors, September 11th, 2019. Uh, and then he talks a little bit here about, in fact, I'm going to end this here. He talks a little bit about uh, all the good that VTA did, you know, on the airwaves. And I believe that they did some good. The, the, the flavor ban went through anyway. They say Trump retreats from a flavor ban, but... As far as I know, there is a, a pod flavor ban, a flavored pod ban in the United States of America, literally right now. Hey, it talks about the White House meeting. And then we're going to get into some other slides. And here's these other slides. This is what's going on right now. We all live through Evoli. Most of us, did most of us live through Evoli? Drugs aren't free, right? Drugs are not free. Imagine how expensive that would be to put fentanyl in a, like a thousand Chinese disposables, right? Just a thousand of them, which there's millions coming into the country literally every day, just millions of them from hundreds of different companies because FDA, you know, why bother regulating when you can just try to enforce at the border? Sounds good. Sounds great. Could you imagine if you treated anything else in your life like that? Like imagine you had an ant problem and instead of getting a, like a pest remover or putting some ant traps or spraying for ants, you just stood at the door and tried to squash everyone that came in every single one, like one at a time. You're like, no, 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 not you, not you, not you. You're not getting in my house. You're not getting, oh, some got through. Oh, a bunch got through. Oh, a bunch more got through. Oh, maybe this isn't working, but we're going to keep doing it because this is all we know how to do. This was our plan. This was our plan. Stop the ants at the door. You, 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 you. Oh, more coming in. Oh, so many. Oh, can't control it anymore. Oh, shit. Oh, could have regulated this, could have uh, sprayed, could have got some ant traps, but no. We decided to play enforcement Gestapo at the border and just whack-a-mole whatever disposables are coming across the border. Geniuses, I'm telling you. Geniuses over there at the FDA. Fucking geniuses. May 2013, 2013, 2023, Tom Price, former... Health and Human Services Secretary, look at what he has to say. 
While the fentanyl crisis has attracted most of the recent public attention, it's not only an American public health crisis emanating from the People's Republic. That's affecting America's youth. Some Chinese manufacturers are targeting America's youth for sales. F- America's youth are our nation's most treasured resource. FDA shouldn't let China, evil China, jeopardize their futures. While added nicotine makes e-cigarettes more addictive for our kids, adding fentanyl to them makes them deadly. Given the extent that China funnels fentanyl into America, it shouldn't come as much of a surprise that reports indicate officials have found some of these vapes laced with fentanyl. Completely unsubstantiated. There's no sources there. He just says, uh, some reports indicate, hey, some report indicates that you're full of shit. Some reports indicate that you're talking out of your asshole. June 2023, James Smack, former GOP, Natcom, Nevada. Everyone knows these flavored disposable vaping products are dangerous, but those smuggled in from communist China are especially dangerous because they may contain life-threatening chemicals, including fentanyl. One of the number one things we've noticed recently is we've gotten a fair number of calls to our poison center for young people, adolescents, who've been experimenting with vaping fentanyl. Teens, he means to present the idea that teenagers are getting their hands on fentanyl and putting them in disposable vapes or that teenagers are so tech savvy that they know exactly where to order Chinese fentanyl vapes from. This is, this, is, this is a sitting politician. The federal government reported more than 700 million disposable vapes came to the U.S. from China last year, while countless others came across the southern border from Mexico. What? What? So not only do we have China's like endless supply of fentanyl that they're just providing with its entire country, just injecting vapes with fentanyl to send over to the United States. Now we have to worry about Mexico where, wait, hang on. Vaping is banned, by the way, in Mexico, banned. There's Mexico manufacturers manufacturing disposables in Mexico and injecting them with fentanyl and they're coming over the Mexico-U.S. border? What? What do are we just saying things now? Are we just saying things now? June 11th, 2023, Nan Orok, Georgia State Senator. Thanks mainly to China's continued importing of illegal flavored disposable vaping products into this country. America's youth vaping crisis has gotten out of hand. China has become especially infamous for importing illegal disposable vapes and flavors like cotton candy that have hooked far too many of our children. Nicotine isn't only threat. These legal disposable e-cigarettes, though, some vaping devices are turning up laced with fentanyl. This person promoted HB 901, which is a ban on disposable vapes, and they encouraged Biden to finish the job. Some vaping devices are turning laced with fentanyl. That's not real life. That's not a thing you can even actually do. June 20th, 2023, Florida Retail Report. Illegal vaping products pose a danger to consumers. Florida Attorney General Ashley Moody. We love Ashley Moody. Don't we love Ashley Moody? Florida Attorney General Ashley Moody recently warned a consumer video alert that some illegal vapes possibly contain fentanyl and other toxic, potentially deadly substances. We're also seeing news stories about high school students suffering from complications after using vapes that might have contained fentanyl. Complications after using vapes that might have contained fentanyl. Is there, is there anything to back this up? Is there anything to back this up? No, this, this, is, this is all just completely unsubstantiated? Oh, okay, spectacular. This lack of enforcement or product seizures over the last year uh, stands in stark contract to the increased flow of illicit disposable vaping products imported from China, evil, evil China, over the same time period. And Caliph is just feeding this false narrative. Look at that guy. It looks like he just woke up. Doesn't it always look like Dr. Robert Caliph just woke up? House Agriculture Appropriations Committee, March 29th, 2023. FDA Commissioner Robert Caliph. 
There's recently been some publicity. I think it's no surprise, but a great concern to me that fentanyl may be showing up in some vaping products. I think it was just a matter of time. There, there's no there's 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 no fentanyl in, uh, in the vaping products. This is this is all just unsubstantiated nonsense. They're just going. Well, we were able to convince everybody that Evoli had to do with e-cigarettes, so why couldn't we convince everybody that uh, your vapes might contain fentanyl now? Yeah, yeah, we don't need to prove it. We can just say it. Like we could, like we could say that there's a youth vaping epidemic without ever actually having to prove it. And then when people go and look at our data, we can tell them that they're wrong and they're misinterpreting our data. I, I like this idea. I, I like this idea. We could definitely do that. Now, like I said, I'm not going to be here to say that I can debunk this in any way other than I just simply don't think it's true. I don't think that evil Chinese vape manufacturers are going to spend exorbitant amounts of money lacing their vapes with fentanyl and shipping them to the U.S.? Okay, now here's something I say a lot. Like I said, I may not be able to debunk this right now. I might not be able to debunk this right now, but like I say in a lot of videos, I'm not a, a scientist, I'm not a doctor, but I do rely on people who are much smarter than me to disseminate information and explain things like this. And one of those people that I follow, who I think is much smarter than me, who is actually a fentanyl subject matter expert, Ryan Marino, MD. Everybody should go follow this guy on Twitter. He's great. His Twitter is great. He is an MD, medical doctor, human doctor. He's got a specialty in toxicology and addiction. He's been essentially dismantling fentanyl disinformation on Twitter for like the last five years, five plus years. Yeah, 2017, he started talking about fentanyl myths and the idea that, you know, you see this news report where it's like, oh, there was a, a dime size worth of fentanyl in this car and a police officer was unconscious because of secondhand fentanyl exposure. And then Ryan Marino chimes up and goes, that's not a thing. That's not real. That's, that's, that's not how fentanyl works at all. That's not how drugs work at all. You're all super wrong about this. That's him. He's that guy. He has this Twitter thread right here that I remember reading. And the whole Twitter thread is about the risk of secondhand, secondhand fentanyl smoke. Secondhand fentanyl smoke. And then he goes on to talk about how... you. you you can't really smoke fentanyl. There's, there's people that smoke it. It can be vaporized, but fentanyl has such a low temperature that it degrades at that literally any amount of heat or warmth will degrade the drug and make it ineffective, essentially. Com completely ineffective. Completely ineffective. Completely ineffective. Usually gets injected, usually gets snorted, can't vape it. Ryan Marino. Because fentanyl breaks down slash decomposes so quickly and easily at such low temperatures, this is also why it's not being laced into cannabis for smoking or even other vaping heated products. It just is not a possible thing. Could a commercial vape be used for fentanyl? It's possible, but it would have to be very intentional, meaning that you can't just put fentanyl in a disposable Chinese vape and have it work, have it do anything. It's not reality. It's not science. That's not physics. It's just not a thing that exists. Yeah, what are they going to do? Lose customers? Is that what the point of this is? Let's kill all our customers right away. <laughs> right away. Let's just do it. So I trust Ryan Marino. He's a subject matter expert. I've been following him for a few years now. And he only speaks the truth about fentanyl. And uh, I like him. I just like him as a person. Uh, I like following him on Twitter. He has no idea who I am. I would love to be able to get him on not a live stream, but like I would love to be able to do an interview with him and we can talk about it. We can talk about vaping uh, and fentanyl and, uh, you know, 
Get, get to the bottom. Get to the bottom of this. So expect this. And I hate to say that. God, I hate to say that. But it's already being done. There's multiple examples here of senators, of health people, of, 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 of other politicians all making the, the wild accusation that fentanyl can be diluted somehow and the evil Chinese companies uh, are manufacturing these disposables and putting fentanyl in it so that, it, you know, kills people, I guess. That's the narrative that they're running with. That's the narrative that they're running with. This could, I mean, I'm not trying to be like some sort of doomsday prepper here, but this could completely change the, the, the public's view of harm reduction and all of vaping, in my opinion. They already have Evoli. Everybody already hates vaping because of Evoli. Add this on top of Evoli. That could be game over. I mean, that could be completely game over for vaping in the United States. Short of some sort of magic bullet miracle happening where maybe the World Health Organization suddenly turns around on the subject. But as long as people are making money off of cigarette smoking, there will always be an opposition to vaping. And because vaping works so well, that opposition has to be relentless. It's depressing. It's depressing in every capacity. And I think that's it. I think I'm going to wrap up the news and advocacy. I'll put links down in the description to literally everything I talked about, but just be on the lookout for this and try to correct information literally wherever you can. I've been doing it on social media and Twitter and places like this. I haven't signed up for threads yet. I haven't signed up for threads yet. Should I sign up for threads? That's the narrative. The narrative is that communist China are purposefully putting fentanyl into disposable vapes so that it kills us. That's the narrative that they're running with. That's the narrative that they're running with. You know what? You're right, Breeze Tones. I need to hydrate and I need to breathe. So that's it. Let's uh, end the news and advocacy. I'll put some links in the description. Let's, uh, let's move on. I'm going to go free the dogs because they've been in a crate for an hour now and they're doing great. They're doing great in their crates, but it's time to free them. So what I would like to do literally right now, let's retro vape. Let's change the mood completely. Uh, yeah, we're still gonna, we're still gonna retro vape. Hang on. Uh, I'll just go free the dogs real quick. I'll be literally right back. I'm gonna bring my water with me so I can hydrate my Tron water, uh, on the way and back. And now we're probably going to have Murphy interruptions for literally the rest of the vlog, or at least until my wife gets home. That could be a very real thing. Uh, what are we doing? Oh, that's right. We were retro vaping. Word up. Let's retro vape. You see this? It's a Cali burn. We're going to retro vape a Cali burn. I'm just kidding. Of course, we're not going to retro vape a Cali burn. I mean, just to clarify, China's not putting fentanyl into disposable vapes. I'm very confident in this. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong, but it doesn't seem it's this is the Halloween candy shit all over again. Like, well, watch out. They're putting drugs in your kids Halloween candy. They're putting fentanyl in your kids Halloween candy. Did we have any kids die of fentanyl during Halloween this year? No, but we heard at least a trillion reports leading up to Halloween that evil people were putting fentanyl in kids candies. Did, did any kids die? Did, seriously, I want to know. Did any kids get sick? Did any kids die? Did any kids get addicted to fentanyl from eating their Halloween candy? No, of course not. 
because I've lived through the drug war. I've lived through the satanic panic. I thought I was going to get kidnapped and sacrificed to Satan when I was a kid. That's how bad the satanic panic was when I was a kid. Turned out to be nothing, you know, stupid. There was no satanic panic, but I was convinced. I was convinced that Satanists were going to kill me. That's what the media does to your brain. That's what the media does to your brain. Ugh, it's disgusting. It's gross. Moral panics, you know? Moral panics, always good for everybody. So uh, I'm going to shout out Volker right now in Germany for passing me off this retro vape. See, told you it wasn't a uh, Caliburn. It just came in a Caliburn cocoa box. That Caliburn cocoa box, though. What this is... <gasps> Does anybody know? I'm not going to show you the logo. Can anybody guess? Anybody guess? No, I won't show you the logo. Oh, no, I showed you too much of the logo. Showed you too much of the logo. No, no we haven't done vape mail yet, Brenton. You're, you're right on time. We're going to do this. We're going to do vape mail. Uh, and then we're going to taste a random liquid. And then uh, before we taste a random liquid, I might do a contest. I might do a giveaway for an ethos. So you, you've actually arrived at like the perfect time. You're here at the best time. You missed me ranting about, uh, well, I don't, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Okay, so this, hang on. Let me make sure I'm reading this correctly. Why can't I read this? Uh, this is the Enigma. It's the Enigma Mac RDA combo. I never got to try this. This was from uh, 2016, I think. 2016, around that time. 2016. That sounds about right when the Enigma came out. That sounds about right. I'm just going to make sure that there's not any uh, hella chats that I missed. I know I know New Wave Dave loves those hella chats, so I don't want to miss him. Oh, God. Give me a pop-up before. Okay, okay, cool. Didn't miss a New Wave Dave. So this is a... Uh, hang on. Hang on. Oh, I actually don't think that separates. Yeah, this is a uh, hybrid, baby. This is a hybrid. Ooh, I was hiding it behind my head. This is a hybrid. And this is a hybrid in the truest sense of the word hybrid in that the 510 connection is this underneath all these threads. This is the atomizer that threads down to the top of your tube. That's the one atomizer you can use with this particular tube. And it's fascinating it's a nice little squishy mech button at the bottom. Nice little squishy mech button. Boom, there's the top cap. But wait, there's more. There's a double chamber top cap. Look how tiny this little deck is. Then we have these airflow slots that go over it. And then finally, a top cap boop to go over that. That's pretty slick. That's a pretty slick little design here. Uh, you? Oh no! Hang on, dangle clacks. Hang on, hang on. There's a there's a dangle clack happening that I I didn't anticipate, but I can fix it. There it is. There we go. There we go. Look at this deck. Look at this little deck. Look at this tiny deck. Focus. How are you not focusing on anything? Uh, okay, my camera just won't focus. Will it focus on anything? Will you focus on my hand right here? Nope. Nope. Will you focus right here? Great. Oh, I'm so happy. Will you focus on anything? 
I can manually focus it. All right, let's try that. Oh, there's the deck. It's a little, uh, <laughs> it's the tiniest little weird little three post deck and it's tiny. It is tiny. Well, let me get out my calipers and see how tiny this is. Dude, this is a 12 millimeter deck, 13 millimeter deck, roughly a 13 millimeter deck, flathead screws on top. So we're gonna wrap two little weird round wire builds to go in here. Oh my God, that is crazy. Okay, uh, that camera sucks, so we're moving to the desk cam. Sorry, I don't know what the hell's going on. Oh, oh, there's no memory card. Oh, I know. Is that why you won't focus? Maybe now will you focus, you dick? There we go. Hey, now. Okay, well, it's a little rusted. It's a little uh, corroded. I'm still going to vape this. Don't care. No Fs given. With my eyes, uh, I can't see all that bad stuff. You know, I just, I can't see it. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to pretend it's not there. I'm just going to pretend it's not there. Yeah, look, it's going to be a classic Ruby build. Even though I don't like to say that anymore because it makes me sad, but it is going to be a classic Ruby build. Whoa. If these screws open. Classic, I mean, this is like, there's a round center post. There's a round center post. It's twisted, so you can clearly tell when this gets tightened too tight or too loose that it's gonna like, you know, spin completely. something it's just gone so we're gonna try to wrap two millimeter coils I think two millimeter coils are all that will fit in here so here's to hoping that we can wrap two millimeter coils which we may not be able to well fuck I guess we're gonna have to wrap two and a half millimeter coils. That's fine. That's fine. I mean, where's any of my wire? Where's any anything? Twenty. Yeah. All right. We're gonna use a uh, twenty-four gauge, Nichrome eighty. We're gonna wrap it on two and a half millimeters. Holy shit. It's gonna be a tight fit. It's gonna be a tight fit, and the only reason we're not wrapping it on a two and a half millimeter is because I can't find. Oh shit! Who is calling me? Oh fuck me, running! God damn it! See, this is because of my wallet. This is because of my wallet. I pulled out every drawer in my desk and literally just dumped them out, like all over the floor, scavering, you know, scavenging for my wallet, and then just scooped everything back into drawers. So every tiny little thing is just fucking missing. Every tiny thing is just missing. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh yeah, that's two millimeters, okay. All right, this should work, okay. We're saved, we're saved by Yude. 
Should work. Two two millimeter, two and a half millimeter. Nope, this is two millimeters. All right. We're gonna go for two millimeters in here. These are the smallest coils I've built in like I don't know. <laughs> eight years, nine years, something like that, probably. Classic build. 24 gauge, I'll probably do like a 24 gauge five wrap. Right? That, like, that kind of makes sense. 24 gauge, two and a half millimeter five wrap. What do you think that will give me my resistance to? It's a good question and thorough. They're just gonna have to wait. We retro vaping. You're goddamn right. Uh, and let's see if this is actually going to work. Yeah, it should work. So I don't know why I put my glasses on. That was a dumb move. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, it's going to have to be a double six. That's fine. Two millimeter coils. Holy cow. These. This is so tiny. This is so tiny. But we got a tiny, tiny, tiny little two millimeter coil. It's microscopic. It's like, look how tiny. Can you see that on there? Nope. All right. I was just trying to set it on there so you could see how tiny. Look how tiny. Can you see it against my finger? Tiny coil is here to stay. We're putting it in this thing. More seatbelt. Yep. More seatbelt. More wire means you're safer. More wire means you're safer. 0. 0.6? 0. 0.7? 0. 0.22? Yeah. I think I'm going to go for, I think it's going to be a 0. 0.22. I think it's going to be closer to a 0. 0.2. I agree with you there. Let's see what can be done. I don't know. I haven't built two millimeter coils in one, two, three, four, five, six. Except that last one got fucked up because it went all stovetop on me. All right. I hate it when you accidentally do a stovetop. <laughs> I think it's my coiler is the problem. One, two, three, four, five, and then six without a stove top. Great. Now, this three post deck, holy shit. I mean, holy shit, this little deck. This is gonna take more skill than it does to install literally anything else anywhere. And I don't think that two 24 gauge wires will even fit through the middle, but we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. Oh my God. This is beast to build it's beastly schmuffy what are you doing buddy please don't eat my coils please don't eat my coils please don't eat my coils where's the timmy what you doing oh what you doing oh what you doing Where's like anything good? What do you want to play with? You know I'm working. He's just the fucking cutest dog and I hate to disappoint him. Okay, let's switch back to this. Hope everybody's still here because we're doing the damn thing. I wonder, I wonder, I windy.
This feels like this feels like one of those RDAs that you could easily twist the screw too hard and it would clip your lead off. Do you remember when RDAs used to do that? Man, that was like one of the single most annoying things in the history of vaping was when you would screw down your screw onto your lead and for whatever reason, back in the day, nobody knew what they were doing. They're like, oh, let's make RDAs with pointy screws or flat screws that are just gonna shear off. It happened all the time, all the time. Okay, so I think we can cut this one, right? Because that's through there. Now we'll try this one. We're halfway there. I can't believe we got this far. I've never uh, seen this tiny of a deck before. I mean, this is severely tiny. 13 millimeters? Even the original recoil wasn't that tiny. Not by a mile. Okay. Tightening all of the screws now. Whoa. Whoa. Tighten the middle screw. Get both those leads. Ah, the screws are so narrow, like they're so shallow. I'm scared of stabbing myself because <laughs> I have to press so hard to get this to uh, twist that I know I'm going to stab myself with a flathead screwdriver live on a vlog. Okay. That's as tight as it's getting. Okay, it sounds like Smurfy's eating something he's not supposed to be, so I'm gonna go check on him. Smurfy. Poor Twisted Timmy. Poor Twisted Timmy. My, my dog uh, Murphy had this for like 0.2 seconds. Pulverized. He didn't get to the coils on the inside, but he sure did eat up this uh, packaging. Sorry, Timmy. Sorry. Sorry, dude. But the good news is it looks like we got some mother truck and coils in here. Now, let me know what you think. What do you think of this install? Should I turn my ISO up or down? How about way up? Let's see, can we get this? Oh, baby, look at that beautifulness. Look at that. I'm just gonna vape it like this. There's no need to, uh, you know, straighten these, that'd be ridiculous. Of course I'm joking. Of course, of course I'm joking. Dang, I barely gave myself enough uh, room here. The funny thing is we're going to have no way to test this resistance because it's a hybrid <laughs> uh, and there's just no way to do it. We got to glow it on a mech and just assume that this resistance is okay because there's no way to do it. So 
18650 goes on the inside. Pow. This goes on. Pow. Oh God, something's not working. Uh-oh. Why do I have battery rattle? Oh, it's because there's a screw in the top. Forgot, forgot about the screw in the top. There's a screw in the top. I might be able to, yep, lower. Let's give that two turns down. See how this goes. No more battery rattle. And plenty of hot glowing action. Hey, don't get in there. Yeah, hell yeah. Dude, those are glowing great. Look at this, look at this. Look how good they're glowing. Look at those little coils right there. Glowing their little hearts out. Glow, glow, evenly, perfectly, evenly. Amazing. I can't believe we did this. Sorry, I haven't had my glasses on. I didn't see the chat. I'm going to do some good housekeeping and uh, put away some of this stuff. Coil building stuff goes there. You go there. You go here. You go there, you go there, you go there. Good enough. All right. Got some KGB cotton that we're going to be vaping this uh, with tonight. Two little guys. I need two millimeters of cotton. I don't think I have pinched off two millimeters of cotton in a really long time. Cotton overload incoming. Come on, Jangles. Have some faith in your boy. Ooh, does that feel like two millimeters of cotton? It kind of does. Oh, we'll go this way. Boosh nailed it. First try. Hello. Thank you. You're welcome. Bam. Oh, burn the cotton. Got to put that locking switch on. Locking switch right there. There we go. There we go. Get ready for it. Way too much cotton. <laughs> Get ready for it. Watch Nick waste cotton. I try not to do that anymore, you know. I really try. And then... Oh, oh, oh. And then... Yeah! Busting. 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 We, this is the tiniest deck in the history of tiny decks. I don't know that even like the old Phoenix rebuildable atomizer or the Phoenix V2 or the Squid, I think they're all bigger than this. I think they're all bigger than this. There is a tiny little... Uh, juice well down here for the cotton and juice to sort of go into it's honestly a pretty good design like apart from the three postness of it like if this was a four post this would be something that I'm like shit let's bring this back how does that look how do you think not bad right Eight out of 10, seven out of 10. I mean, I knew at least it's a seven out of 10, but I wasn't sure if it was like an 11 out of 10, 12 out of 10. You see my center leads are still literally right there touching the cotton. They won't get warm or anything, but we're gonna be clucking chowds for days. Clucking chowds, clucking chowds. Now the problem is we need a liquid. Let's pick something that I know that I like, pistachio, right? Pistachio, I've baked a lot of this. 
Throw some pistachio on it. I'd like a bowl of the uh, pistachio there, please. Thank you. Sorry. I've made the Corky Romano reference way too many times when I mentioned pistachio, but does anybody remember Corky Romano? That movie with that uh, that one weird-ass actor who's weird-ass now? Uh, but his, uh, his, his mafia brother was apparently, uh, illiterate, like couldn't read or anything. And so he's standing in front of the ice cream truck and it's like the uh, flavors are like chocolate, vanilla, strawberry. And that's all it says on the side of the truck. And he walks up there and he's like, ah, uh, yeah, can I have a bowl of the, uh, rum raisin there, please? Thank you. And the guy like points to the sign. He's like, oh, okay, okay. Got you. Uh, give me a bowl of the, uh, pistachio there, please. Thank you. I don't know why I think of, I think of that. Oh, there is an echo. Where did that even come from? I have the power. Give me, uh, I'll have a bowl of the uh, rum raisin there, please. Thank you. Corky Romano, come on. Yeah, there you go, Ern. Yes. Oh, Anthony Romella got it? Yes. You guys want some cookies? <laughs> yeah, rage about Ivali too. I've been raging about Ivali too for a full week now. I think Addy Tooney, thank you, Addy Tooney, for sending that link my way. He said, I think I'm really concerned about this. And I said, wow. I, and then I came to the conclusion that I think I'm really concerned about it too. Okay, so we're, we're, we're juiced up. We're wicked up. Let's see what's going on here. No, nope, not that one. Uh, clouds, bro. Clouds. I'm sorry. Chowds. I got my air conditioning on, but chowds, bro, everywhere. Chowds for days. The air conditioning blows literally like right here, like right across the desk. You can see it. Yeah. We're about to cluck some chowds on the Enigma that I do definitely remember from back in the day, but never, ever, ever got to try from back in the day. So I'm going to try to line up these slots right with the coils. There's no tabs or anything, which is great. So you can set your airflow boosh directly in front of your coil. And then we just need to line these two up. All the O-rings, all the, like the O-ring fit and finish on this, spectacular, spectacular. Chris Kattan, yeah, Chris Kattan. You guys want some cookies? I thought Corky Romano was a funny movie. I mean, granted, I haven't seen it in probably 20 years, but I thought it was pretty funny. And I like Night at the Roxbury. I think that's a really underrated movie as well. Cheers, you guys. It's the Enigma courtesy of Volker from uh, Germany, bro. I, I love you, man. Thank you for this device. I hope to see you again next year. Hall of Vape, Volker. I'll bring this back for you. Wow. So the airflow is, I don't know, for this old of a device, I was expecting it to be really, really restricted because last week we had that gigantic Asmodus RDA that was 30 millimeters, but had two like tiny little pinhole airflows. This is much more cloud chasey oriented. Here we go, cloud mukbang. Holy shit. Holy shit. I'm kind of impressed with this. I it is a pop and paint. I can't drip through the tip. But holy shit, the flavor on this is like 89% busting the switch on it really very nice i'm getting a little bit of crackle from some from some round wire and the airflow smooth smooth as a gravy sandwich as some people would say it's old and my button's getting a little bit warm. And I think that's because of a bad contact. And, you know, this needs to be cleaned, obviously, because I don't think it's been used in literal years. So my button gets a little bit warm. But my battery stays nice and cool. I'm going to push this. 
Let's try this again. This is good. This is good. This is a good vape. This RDA, uh, I would love an updated deck for it. I would love to see like a 21700 Enigma V2. How sick would that be? 21700 Enigma V2. 21700, same airflow, same design. Just give me a little bit bigger of a deck. Even just like a two-post deck in there. That would be sick. Vaping awesome. Vaping freaking awesome. Dude. This was a gift. Volker, thank you. This is a gift. I'm going to use this. It's cloud chasing as good as, I mean, maybe not as good as this. It's comparable. <laughs> I vape. I vape all the time. Yeah, vaping just as good as that. It's probably going to vape better. It's probably going to vape better than this uh, fucking leaky monster of a device. What happened? Oh, my battery's dead? Oh, that's freaking perfect. Vaping practically just as good as anything on my desk right now. I never got to try the Enigma, and I, I regret it. I would have loved this. Loved this in 2016. Loved it. It's just a little mech. It's not big. It's a little hybridized mech. You know, there's no 510 pin. There's no nothing. It's just hybrid. Your contact is touching your battery, and your contact runs straight through right to your RDA. There's no pins. There's no chance of hard shorting this battery in any capacity. The Enigma was your first uh, Philippine style ever. Pixel over there on uh, over there on Twitch, that's sick. This is a good this <laughs> this is a good first like Philippine mech mod to get. I had a few good Philippine mech mods, but my God, if I had got this in 2016, this would have been like an end game thing for me. Yeah, you know, I get that. Swazzy, let's talk about that for a second. I completely understand that. He says, I could never get into mechs for one reason, being that I don't understand the concept of starting off with a great hit, then having it slowly get worse until I need to swap the batteries. Just go regulated. Yeah, I went on a rant exactly like that in late 2012, early 2013, before mechs, like, took off. We had a fair share of mechs from back in the day. And you can run this single coil. The airflow lets you run it single coil. And I said the same thing on a video, in a review. I said, I'm not going to vape unregulated anymore. I said, I can't be at the mercy of a dying battery. That's what I said. I don't want to be at the mercy of a dying battery. And then what happened? All of 2015, all of 2016, just mechs everywhere. Just, you know crazy amounts of avid life mechs and the Manhattan and the Fuhattan and the Kennedys and just mechs everywhere. So I was like, oh, okay, I guess I'm vaping mechs now. When you become a regular mech user, here's the thing. You don't really notice that your hits are getting slightly less every single time. It's so gradual that I only ever notice when my battery is really, really dead, 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 dead. In the dying times, I barely notice it. But when it's dead, that's when I really notice it. But it also gives you this opportunity that you've never really had with regulated devices. And that is nothing hits like a mech, though. I agree with you, piss God. Nothing hits like a mech. And there is the very, 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 very satisfying moment that happens when you're hitting your mech and you're vaping and you're like, oh, this is awesome. I'm vaping my mech and my battery life is dying. And you go, oh, okay, yeah, this battery's dead. And then you go from a dead battery to a brand new battery and you take that first rip on a brand new battery and it's like, oh, yeah. Woo, good, yeah. That feeling can't, can't be duplicated, can't be replicated.
Uh, I don't know. I've just been leaving Twitch on regular. We don't need to make it emote only. I've just been leaving it on regular. Anybody who wants to chat can chat. You know, but the real cool chat happens on YouTube. You know, that's uh... Murphy. Hey. I have no idea what he's barking about. Good. Okay, the Enigma rules. The Enigma rules. Volker, thank you. This has been one of the best retro vape segments, like of the year. This is something I actively am going to keep using. Uh, we met last year at Hall of Vape. I was the chubby small guy interviewing you on the couch. Yeah, yeah, I remember you, buddy. Pixel, I remember you, Pixel. Happy to see you again, buddy. Did we get to cro did our cross pass this year at uh, Hall of Vape or no? This is good. Even the drip tip, I really like this slender little drip tip. It's just vaping good. The Enigma slaps. That is some slapping from the Enigma. Dude, the Enigma slaps. Slaps. If you have the means, I would highly suggest picking up an Enigma. We talked about Uncommon. We talked about YouTube alcohol mukbang. We talked about my wallet. We talked about Ivali too. We did birthdays, mom, Steve, Chris, Dickie Mo, Dalton's mom. Here we are, finally at mail. 645. Let's get into some mother truck and mail. Yeah, cross paths. You never crossed paths with anyone before? It's fun. You should try it. You should try it sometime there, Drip Theory. Hey, Drip Theory, I want you to know that I have there's this cabinet back here, this big uh, IKEA jobber. And all on this side of it is a whole mess of stickers, just a bunch of stickers. Drip Theory's on there now. It's the pink one with the punk rock mohawk, and he's like, the skull's looking down. He's got a mohawk, and it's pink. It says Drip Theory. That's on there, though. You've been forever, forever added to the inside of my office, Drip Theory. I appreciate you, pimp. Um, let's, uh, let's go check in on some Super Chats, actually. Too long, too long. We're running long. Oh, my God. Let me make sure there weren't any hella chats. If you want to donate to me directly without having to go through YouTube, there is a way to do that. But let's get uh, let's check out these super chats, you guys. Let's separate chats. Hella chat. You missed it. No, I didn't. I didn't. Did I? Uh, Richard, uh, that's right. Smoked for 34 years. Uh, Wervax. Yo, Wervax. Greetings from the Czech Republic. First time catching your live stream. Shit. Yeah, dude. Welcome. Happy to see you here. I don't know if you're still here, but if you're still here, fuck yeah, bump that fist, Wervax. That's awesome. How's vaping in the Czech Republic? If you're still here, I'd love to know how vaping in the Czech Republic is. Uh, Bob, Mr. Ohm's too low. Zero hope for the new director. Not even Obi-Wan. They're all puppets anyway. Yeah, yeah you know... It, yeah, I don't... I, it's like, what do you even say? It's like, yeah... You know, of course they are. They, they, they all tow the company line. If uh, they don't want people nicotine vaping, they're going to stoke as much moral panic as they possibly can. And, and, and you know, it's, it's unfortunate that there are so many puppet politicians because they could be doing good things. And I don't even think... Do you think that they realize that they're just being used? Like, do you think Meredith from PAVE just realized that she's just a Bloomberg puppet? And that the only reason she thinks the way that she does is because someone told her to think the way that she does? Like, that's a horrible way to live your life. I don't want to say I have zero hope for the new CDC director, but I have close to zero hope for the new CDC director, which means that anything she does that's good, like even if she just said vaping could be a way to quit smoking, that's it. I would take that as a win. I'd go, yep, that's a win. You basically just endorsed vaping. You basically just did. Happy to see your face, Bob. Uh, Mallory Gates says, because people can put a drug in a nicotine vape doesn't mean it will vape. Sure, yeah, absolutely, 100%, 8,000%. 
Uh, and you know, drugs are one of those, it's a weird thing to like learn about, but just being in this space and going from smoking to vaping and then vaping into harm reduction and then harm reduction into like drug harm reduction. There's a lot of nuance in these discussions, like start following drug policy Alliance on Twitter, start following Ryan Marino on Twitter. There's loads of people you can follow and get really, really educated on the nuance of drugs. And she's absolutely right. You, just because you can put something in a nicotine vape doesn't mean that it'll vape, doesn't mean it'll be effective. You know, I can jam a hot dog into a gun. That doesn't mean it's going to shoot, right? That was a really bad analogy, but I'm sticking with it. Barbara Burgess says, on a lighter note, six mint Klondike bars consumed. <laughs> yeah, I knew you could do it. I, I knew you had it in you. Uh, I've never eaten six. I've eaten three big Magnum bars in one day, like the chocolate covered ice cream Magnum bars. I've eaten three of those in one day and wanted more. <laughs> I don't know what it is, Barbara, about our family, but even when I go to my dad's house, he'll side text me on the side and be like, Hey, before you come over today, maybe, uh, if you pass any donuts on your way, I'm like, Oh yeah, I might, I might pass some donuts on my way over dad. Oh, oh uh. I, I suddenly came over with 10 donuts. That's crazy. We're just all about chocolate, donuts, sweets, ice cream. It's, it's, it's insanity. It's insanity. All of us, Brian, me, you, the whole family. Ray, that's very gracious of you. I don't think we did Project American Nick. I have a special one. Yeah, we're, we'll, we'll, we'll do uh, Assignment Planet Globe next week. This week was uh, some comments of the week. And next week, we'll get back right back to Assignment Planet Globe. I promise. I'll keep an eye out for yours, Ray. Maybe. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll forget. Fishy. Uh, I just started up that version of the Cali Burn literally a week or so ago. My opinion, very underwhelming. Yeah, here's the problem with, with this G2 Coco Cali Burn is it uses the G2 coil heads. That's where everything falls off the bus for, for, cat, for you well. If they had just done A3S coil heads or even A2S coil heads were better than these, but they still keep happening. See, New Wave Dave says I missed a hella chat, but I don't think I did. Oh, I did. Dave. Damn it, Dave. I'm sorry. So Dickie Mo said, yo, yo, everybody. So lo yo, yo to ya. Copason said, hey, love you. Hey, love you, Copason. And the New Wave Day says, I was home, alone, chilling, when there was a knock on the door. When I opened it, there were two large Italian dudes that grabbed me. One said, we have a message for you and you... <laughs> Hang on. My gruff Italian voice needs some work. And some moisturize. I should vape Lubiderm. When I opened it, there were two large Italian dudes that grabbed me. One said, we have a message from your cat. We have a message for your cat from Mr. Vanetti. He don't like it when money's missing. They kicked my ass. Your cat, your cat's causing all sorts of trouble around town, getting involved with the organized crime, like with the mob. It's like the mafia. You have a mafia cat. I'm sorry, Dave, if you need that five bucks back, you know, to keep the mafia off your back, I'll gladly uh, act like I'm going to send it back to you, you know? <laughs> Appreciate you, New Wave, Dave. Appreciate you, pimp. Uh, hella chat, I missed it. I know, I'm sorry, Dave. Here's the thing. I'm going to get in the habit of checking the hella chats as frequently as the super chats. Piss God, what do you have to say? Clucking chowds. Yeah, speaking of clucking chowds, can I have a bowl of the pistachio there, please? Genius. Hope you're doing well there, uh, Piss God. Trapped Amusing. Forgot I could actually watch live, and I can't believe I got so sidetracked with the new building filming station. Dude, if that's a perfectly uh, acceptable thing to be sidetracked by. Uh, then got an inappropriate content warning on my channel. Really love when I catch this live. Hell yeah. Welcome. Happy to see you live, Trap Musing. Get sidetracked all you want. Go build, film, photograph, do all the artistic fun things. 
and uh, keep getting those inappropriate content warnings. In inappropriate content warnings. Yep. Welcome to the party, pal. It's just a thing that happens. Uh, Ray Buildable's all about the mech life. I have two, three mechs on my desk right now. Not, not including, I mean, including a Boro. Mech Boro, uh, the Bonneville with an RDA2 on it, and now the Enigma. I, I like mechs. I've always liked mechs. I like mechs. I like keeping mechs going. I just, mechs, give them to me mechs. There's just something about it. They're so simple. And this is something I've repeated way too many times, but I've said that a Mac and an RDA, it's like the manual stick shift of vaping, completely the manual stick shift of vaping. There's no fancy circuit boards or things that are going to do something for you. Nope. You're doing it. You're controlling your vape with the resistant coils that you build for it. You need to learn Ohm's law. You need to be the safety. It's a fun experience. I highly recommend it. Trap Musing also says, I want to say uh, vape for ages before I got into YouTube. You have helped my mental health. Uh, was in a psych hospital for three months over Christmas and you saved me from really going insane. Huge thanks. Musing, give me a hug, man. I need a hug. G give me a hug. I I'm happy to have helped. You know, that's, I'm just happy to have helped. I, I, I find it fascinating that people get more out of my videos and live streams than maybe I intend. You know, if I'm just doing a vlog or a review, I'm focusing on the product or the news or the thing at the time, you know, and in my head, I don't think about maybe someone's going to watch this video like 19 times in a row, or maybe someone's going to get something out of this video, you know, that, that, that I'm not intending to. It's interesting, trap musing. It's interesting. I'm happy. I'm happy I could be there for you. Welcome back to reality. I love you, man. I I, I hope you're doing well. Kennedy says, uh, the new tat on my back itches like I want to dunk my head in a bucket of lie, then run screaming off of a cliff. Holy cow. That must be the itchiest. That must be the itchiest tattoo in the history of itchy tattoos. I've had some itchy tattoos. You know, don't get me wrong. Still can't end this poll. Still. Let's try to end the poll now. End the poll. Nope. It's not going to work. We're, we are never going to be able to end this poll. This is the eternal poll in the chat. If I refresh the page, yep, fucking back. YouTube, fix your shit, man. End the poll. Huh? Huh? And no, it's back. End the poll now. I'm really going to try my best to end this poll, but it's just not going to work for me. Is the poll still there? You guys can all still see the poll. Nothing has ended on the poll. If Jeremy V were here, he could end the poll. I don't think a, a, a moderator can end the poll, but, well, the liquid tasting should be uh, real interesting. I'm going to narrow it down to two. We'll, we'll narrow it down to two, okay, so we can do some sort of poll. If any uh, moderator can, can you end the poll? I don't think you can end the poll, though, like end, end the poll. Close the window down completely. Well, here's the thing. It's just one instance of Chrome going. So if I open a new tab of Chrome and I go to YouTube and I go to my back end, I still can't end the poll that way. I would have to close like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, probably 25 instances of Chrome I have going right now. Maybe more, maybe more. No poll is displayed in your chat. I still can't start a new poll. And if I reboot, if I refresh this page, the poll is back suddenly. It's been a poll for seven hours now and I can't end it. It's the poll that will not end. It's the poll that will not end. Pop out chat. Maybe that'll help. 
Maybe if I put a game over emoji in here, maybe that'll help. Maybe I can do a poll. Nope. Maybe I can end the poll if I pop out the chat. Uh, it's broken on YouTube's end. Great. The chat's still there. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, we're just going to have to spam the chat one, two, three. We're just going to have to spam the chat one, two, three. And that sucks. In fact, we'll, we'll spam the chat one, two. We'll, we'll, we'll spam the chat one, two. Because I'll, I'll narrow it down to two. I have it narrowed down to two. Uh, shit, it's seven o'clock. We haven't even done mail yet. Let's go. We got so much mail to do. Like, seriously. Sorry, I had to get a uh, lavender vanilla scent garbage bag. Sorry, I had to get a lavender vanilla scent garbage bag. Do the poll on Twitch. Hey, let's. Why don't I just do the poll on America Online? Like, let's make this really complicated. Uh, no, we're doing mail. Here's the thing: the poll on Twitch is even more unreliable than the poll literally anywhere else. The poll on chat of uh, Twitch is harder to, to fiddle with and harder to end and harder everything. But at least we know that 67% of you would rather violently sneeze every 19 minutes. Okay, I'm going to try to uh, end this poll again. Remember, if you're here now, just smash that like button. That would help me out just so, so tremendously much. So tremendously much. Now let's get into some freaking mail here. This came from China. Oh my God, China. It's probably, uh, you know, fentanyl covered vapes. That's what I'm hoping. Here's, here's to hoping that these are the fentanyl vapes I ordered. Oh no, what do we got here? Okay, who did I just see talking about a new sub tank that they wanted a new sub tank? Because this is the Horizon Tech Falcon Legend. This is probably designed to be their like be all, end all, number one, hell yeah, this is the best sub tank we've ever released ever ever released ever in the history of time. They went back to the Falcon name. They threw legend on there. Genius. Genius Falcon legend. So we got some Falcon legends. I got a bunch of them, which means, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. That means I get to give away four to my patrons. Maybe we should try the very random liquid tasting tonight in the Falcon legend. Let's do that. Hell yeah, let's do that. Oh my God, that's a genius idea, Nick. You're a genius. What, me? No, uh, no, no, sorry. No, please, that, that's too much. You can't call me a genius. Genius. I've, uh, I've, I liked the Falcon. I've always enjoyed Horizon Tech's coil heads. I've always felt like Horizon Tech had some pretty top-notch coil heads. It's not a damn hell ass bad looking tank either. Bit knurled for my taste, but there's some nice knurling there. Some nice knurling there. It's a three quarter turn. Boop like that. The knurlings line up when it's closed. So you know that it's closed. This is a, uh, you know, it's a tank that's held together by the coil head. So all we're gonna have up here is very fixed glass. Yeah, that slides into that slot. That's perfect. Coil head goes in here. That's a boosh. That's a big old boosh 9000 right there. Falcon legend. The Falcon legend. Dig. Fuck yeah, Falcon legend. Oh, what up? Here, we're going to save that. Now this big box, the big box from, from Vapepresso. Is my address on here? I'm not trying to dox myself. 
The big box is from Vapresso. We're going to try that Falcon Legend tonight. We're going to try it. I don't know what this could be. One can only assume that it's going to be like a... Oh, shit! Oh, shit, you guys. Holy shit. I didn't think this was happening so soon. Woo! Hell yeah! So this is the super, 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 limited edition Grim Green Vapresso Cross 3 Nanos. We should look at this. We should look at this. I haven't got to see this in real life yet, and I'm dying to see it. put my signature on it they press so grim hey that's so cool <laughs> that's so cool man holy shit well i love the hell out of that that turned out amazing do you see do you see how the like the the universe in the background goes right up to the coil right up to where your pod goes that is my new favorite thing in the history of favorite things Backs two-tone, Vaporesso, front, Boosh, Spaceman, Grim Green, with the signature in everything. I love this. I love this. Now, this is crazy limited edition. Crazy limited edition. But it's metallic and shiny. I mean, it's metallic and uh, matte. It's orange. I'm so glad they went with orange. They were trying to convince me to do black. I was like, orange, orange, it matches. And then it says Grim Green. Shit, uh, I don't think I even have a cross three pod going right now, unless I do, which I do. And it's right here. Nope, that one's empty. Unused. What is this one? What are you? Point eight. Hell yeah. Yeah, that's, you know, it's the cross three nano. It's the cross three nano. I think that looks so sick and I'm so happy with how that turned out. Vapor SO, you, you killed it. You killed it. That looks awesome. Kent and I worked on this together. This was Kent. Kent uh, can't help me design this. He did it with uh, Mid Journey. He did it with Mid Journey. We had the Spaceman in space, like post apocalyptic Spaceman alone in space. Because that's how I feel sometimes, just all alone by myself, floating in space, yelling about vaping and nobody's listening, you know? Like no politicians listening to me. That's how I feel. Uh, I love this. Orange, you glad they listen? <laughs> Uh, I don't know where these are available. I truly and honestly do not know where, when, and in what quantity these will be available. But they are hyper, hy I mean, I can't stress that enough about how hyper uh, limited edition these are. And here's the thing. This I have this, I have these to give away. I have these many of them to give away. I probably will end up keeping a few for myself, maybe giving some uh, away to my, my, you know, my brother, my family, so that they could have something, you know, with my name on it. Be like, look, I work. I, I, I have a job. I work. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, Vaporesso. Shout out to ya. I couldn't, I couldn't be happier to be associated with such a good, consistently, reliably good company as Vapresso. They care. They give a shit. I will always say, I will always say nice things about Vapresso. Hell yeah. Oh my God. I want to see it again. Turned out so good. Look at that. Nope. Okay. Hell yeah, Vapresso. 
Listen, I'll, I'll include one of these in the in the uh, in the uh, in the in the contest tonight. Include one of these. So not only are we going to do an Ethos Dual Boro eighteen six Dual eighteen six fifty Boro, we're going to have a Super Hyper Limited Edition Cross Three Nano. Oh, this one's gold. Oh wait, there's different ones. This one's gold on the edge. Oh no, they all look gold on the edge. I think they're all orange, but they look gold on the front. Okay. So we'll throw one of those on top of the contest. The contest. Sick. Well, ooh, there's still some more mail. I guess we're running long tonight. I wasn't expecting to. Okay, where did I put my knife? Ah, it's on the ground. Perfect. Open on the ground. Rad. That's what I was hoping it was. Shit, those turned out so good. I'll take one. You and Jay Hayes are all I watch. Well, it's too bad. If you just watched me, I'd be sending you one literally right now. But unfortunately, you watch the guy who smashed my mod into the in with a with a drill press or with a uh, hydraulic press. So it's hard to be a fan of crybabies. What is this? Whoa, I wasn't expecting this. Not expecting this in any capacity. Caveman mods, caveman mods. I'm just giving you a hard time, Kevin. I'm just, I'm just giving you some hate. I'm just hazing you a little bit. Like a, like a hazer is supposed to. Caveman mods. Certificate of authenticity number eight. Springfire, whoa. It's a black Cerakoted. Okay. That looks so dope. That looks so dope. Look at that, side by side. I wish there weren't like Cerakote marks on it. I wonder if that'll come off. That's gotta come off, right? Those dusty Cerakote marks. Yes, that is sick. It's crazy lightweight. How does this? That's the fire button? That's the fire button. That's the fire button. That's kind of an amazing design. Battery goes on this side. This screws down, and then this big chungus up here, that's the fire button. Holy crap. That is pretty sick. Oh my god, that is really sick. Good looking out, Georgia boy. Good looking out. Can we see this? Can we see the detail of this? Hell yeah, that's rad. And the spring like it kind of compresses a little bit. Okay, that's sick. This is sick. This is sick. And yeah, you can use it as a single tube with this. Okay, it's called the spring fire. The spring fire. Yeah, that maybe. Let's see, what can this do? You go in here. No. Oh, 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 wait, wait. Ah! That's just a conductor. That's just a, that's just so the current can travel. Does this go in here somehow? Okay, well, I can't figure this out right now. <laughs> I'm not going to spend all my... <laughs> All my time figuring this out right now. But, oh, I think you can make it taller or shorter. I think I can make it taller or shorter. Also, okay, the spring fire is really, uh, really doing it for me. I don't have anything I can put on this right now, but I'm going to get this set up as soon as, as, as humanly possible. Got some, some spare screws. 
Dude, thank you. Shout out to Caveman Mods. I'm fucking pumped on this. The Springfire Number 8 SBS Full Edition. It's aluminum, graphite black, Cerakoted, custom handmade mods, Caveman Mods. Caveman Mods. Thank you, Caveman Mods. That is rad. Dude, this is a good vape mail. That's a, this is a good vape mail segment. All right. Uh, if I get a topper, then tonight we can... Uh, TJ! Is there a TJ center in the house? What's up, Bud Coolford? I see you, buddy. Keeping it real on Twitch. I appreciate that. TJ. TJ center. Hey, now. Hang on. There's, there's, there's literature. Uh, yo, yo, Grim enclosed is the blaze RTA and a special gift for the hashtag shed time. Oh, hope you enjoy shed time Vader. Sorry. It took me so long to get the RTA sent out to you. No worries at all. Please. Can I get a shout out to my awesome girlfriend, Melody, who picked the special gift TJ? Of course, Melody can get a shout out. Melody, thank you for the special, for the special gift. Consider yourself shouted out T freaking J P S S. I got my girlfriend watching you. It's our weekly thing. Hell yeah. Oh, I like this. I like couples bonding over me. That's that. That makes me very happy. Shout out to Melody. Thank you. Because of the blaze RTA, I realized when I got the blaze solo that I had never tried the blaze RTA so shit, I guess we got something to set up for the the uh, the vape fiddle. We're going to get vape fiddling with an original uh, Blaze that I never tried. Hey, the airflow is not even that hollow. Let's see, I don't need to take this out right now, but I do want to look at it. Dual coils? And then it goes in that way. That's sick. Okay, thank you, TJ. Shit, I'll, I'll, I'll use this. I'll, uh, I'll do this on the fiddle, and then I'll get it back to you soon. Oh, get out of here. Oh, just stop it. Oh, that's amazing. I mean, come on. Whoops, wrong camera, but come on. Look at that squatty little Vader, and... I can grind up your weed if you want me to. I'm Darth Vader. I can do it. Wait, is there a... Uh... Oh, yeah. There's even a, uh, like, a Keef catch underneath the screen. Dude, I'm going to grind up some uh, material in this tonight. Some material. He's like, <laughs> just goes full exorcist. Uh, I love that. I love the hell out of this, TJ. TJ, thank you. Seriously, thank you, TJ. That's amazing. And what's great is on the corner of my de on the corner of this cabinet over here is Vader Corner. It's where I put everything that I have that's basically unique and, and like a Vader themed thing. There's a giant Vader Pez dispenser. There is a, a Vader piggy bank. There's a Vader alarm clock. There's Jake Scrapwood's 3D printed melted Vader head with the lightsaber mod in it. It's all over there. I got a new Vader for Vader Corner. I got a new Vader for Vader Corner. Love it, TJ. Fucking a man. I love it. I'm gonna keep your. I'm gonna keep your note forever. I'm gonna keep your note literally forever. Because that's just what I do. All right, so lastly, lastly, from Federal Express. Oh, don't you hate it when the tab pulls off? Both of them? Are you, are you crazy? How did both zip pull tabs just die on me? Remember when FedEx used to be cool? What happened to you, FedEx? It used to be cool, man. This, this. Are we approaching three hours? Oh, shit. All right. Here's the thing. We'll get to the very random look of tasting. In one second. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. I was going to, Mallory, yeah. Oregano, you could use it for lavender or uh, sage. If you wanted to, to grind up some sage, you could do that if you wanted to. Ah, ah. Okay, so first things first. So uh, this, I think, what's in here? Oh, these are extras. Okay, these are extra things. This, I can't show you any of that on YouTube. The KB2. This is the Mission 15 KB2. It's a uh, it's a dot bridge, I believe. It's a dot bridge, I believe. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, what? Why does it look so big? Does it do both? KB2 and dot mission full kit. The KB2 and Dot Mission full kit. Well, this is definitely for Boro. I mean, that's definitely for Boro. That's a that's a Boro sized guy. Single coil deck right there. Single coil deck. And then this kind of goes over it. It's got that tunnel. The tunnel style. And then it has a, uh, you know, a, a chimney. It's got a chimney on top. And that looks Boro sized to me. That looks way too big to be dot. That looks definitely Boro sized. I apologize. It's not exactly straight right now. But then I have this that maybe this can go into. I have no idea. But then it's the mission dot, tiny little dot tank with a dot cap. And I'm, I'm inclined to believe that this might go inside of here. If so, that is not a lot of space. But, you know, I don't know. 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 So it's okay that I don't know right now because I literally just got it in the mail. If this was my review and I kept saying, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, then unsubscribe, you know, unsubscribe. There is a very wacky tool. That is a wacky tool. Wacky tool. That is a wacky tool. It's kind of like an MV a little bit. I've heard some, uh, you know, some conflicting things about this. I'm, I'm remaining optimistic. So it's a one millimeter, 1.2, two millimeter, three millimeter, 3.5, and 4.3. And this is a 2.5 in here. So this can do some severe direct lung and some severe restricted lung. And holy shit, these don't even thread in? <laughs> Trippy. All right. Well, obviously, I'm going to need to try to explore this thing a little bit. We're probably going to end up doing that on the uh, Tuesday Vape Fiddle. We got a Blaze Solo and a Mission KB2 Dot Mission for the Tuesday Vape Fiddle. And I, for one, am looking forward to it. So now, great. Let's see. Dot Mission, get exclusive upgrades. The KB2 and Dot Mission full kit. The full kit allows you to use the KB2 and I see I should have just read. I should have just read something. The full kit allows you to use the KB2 in both a Boro and a Dot platform. In the package, the KB2 RBA kit, one deck, one barrel, one chimney, one locking nut, seven airflow reducers, one 1.2, 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5, 4.3, and a spares kit. There's also a dot mission tip, a dot mission sleeve, 
There's a Dot Mission Boro included front glass gaskets and O-rings. The KB2 Dot, one KB2 Dot chimney nut, one KB2 Dot bottom collar. Okay. Well, it's going to take, uh, you know, a little bit of fiddling before I can uh, really figure that thing out. But holy crap, was this like the best vape mail ever in the history of vape mails? See, I have all these other parts that I don't even know what they're for. It's just, oh, they're little, uh, okay, I see they're caps. Ooh, ooh, there's a clear chimney layer. There's like a clear cap. What is that, a stainless cap, clear cap? I got all the dot, or all the, uh, ooh, there's an Ultem. Dude, we could go full Ultem on the body of the KB2. Full Ultem, all right. All right, Mission. I like you, Mission. Thank you, Mission. I appreciate that. I like getting cool stuff, and I, you know, and I'm such a fucking vape nerd that I just constantly, I constantly am setting stuff up, and I, I still nerd out about cool vape gear. I something I don't think I'll ever out like outgrow. Something I don't think I'll ever outgrow. Uh, now let's see, we're at seven 30. Okay. So we're crossing the three hour threshold literally right now. So let's do a contest. Let's do a contest. Should we do a contest or should we do the liquid tasting? Let's do a contest. Let's just do the contest real quick. Uh, and there it is. Okay. It's contest time. It's contest time. It's contest time. Everybody calm down. It's contest time. It's contest time. And uh, we're going to have a contest. So get your email and fingers ready, please. Get your email and fingers ready because you're going to need to send me an email to contest at grimgreen.com. Contest at grimgreen.com. Uh, put your answer in the in the subject line put your answer in the subject line and everything will go much smoother so this is going to be an interesting one uh i'm not i don't know if i'm going to be able to anyway this is going to be an interesting one it's not a star wars question it's not a star wars giveaway remember what's on the line is a dual 18650 matte black ethos boro kit hell yeah i mean hell yeah pow a, a very limited edition uh, Grim Green Vapor SO collaboration Cross 3 Nano. That's what's up. That's what's on the line. Okay. Now, the question that I need answered, please, the first correct answer is going to win. The first correct answer is going to win. Thank you, Addy Tooney. We're going right here. Contest at grimgreen.com, baby. Okay. Contest at grimgreen.com. Please send your answers over. How many vapable things are on my desk right now? Contest at grimgreen.com. How many vapable things are on my desk? Meaning I could just pick it up and vape it. Pick up, vape, pick up, vape. I'm not talking about spare RDAs. I'm not talking about this mech mod that you saw earlier. Don't count that. That's not a vapable thing. I'm not talking about the guar box. That's here. That's not a vapable thing. There's some pod batteries with no pods in it. Those don't count. They're not vapable things. Vapable things are on my desk right now. Uh, email me, contest at grimgreen.com. You, you can win a hell of a prize package tonight. Hell of a prize package. How many vapable things are on my desk right now? You need some... Uh, Seventh floor tango music to, to get get you in the mood? No? All right. How many vapable things are on my desk right now? Just guess. Just guess. Just guess and... Uh, Daniel Wood. Shit, yeah, Daniel Wood. Good to see you, man. Hey, Grim, been around since the Ego Twist and EVOD days. EVOD. Dude, I have not thought about an EVOD an EVOD in a really long time. That is a super blast from the past, man. Super blast from the past. Hell yeah. Good to see you, man. Welcome back. Just joined the grip. What? Wait, what? Steven, 
just joined the Patreon. Grim Green's Patreon. Steve, Stephen, happy to have you aboard. Uh, get access to the Discord tonight. Email jeremyv at grimgreen.com and get access to the Discord tonight because after the vlog, we all just hang out on a video chat and it goes till all hours of the night and uh, we just hang out and goof off and just kind of talk about whatever. We talk shop. We've we've talked about like, uh, you know, am I too loud? We talk, We had the great sandwich debate. You had the great sandwich debate. Okay, let's see how I'm gonna okay. The first correct answer wins. The first correct answer wins. Okay. So let's get to the beginning here. Not 12, not 16, not 42, not 27, not 12, not 12, not 28, not 13, not 12, not 26, not 23, not 23, not 4, not 26, not 6, not 15, 27, no, 15, no, 10, no, 37, no, 12, no, 27, no, 29, no. You guys are off to a rough start, let me tell you. 13, no, 14, no, 8 things, no. Oh, 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 winner, 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 chicken dinner, winner, winner, chicken dinner. I, it could, and, and I know exactly who this person is, and it couldn't go to a better person. Stop your entries. We have a winner, you guys. We have a freaking winner. Uh, I am emailing back the winner literally right now and the winner with, and the correct, okay, so let me tell you the winner. The winner, we know him, we love him. It's Tim, it's an advocate for liberty. Tim, make yourself oh. known, show your face. Show your face, Tim, show your face. Tim, uh, Tim, I I'm really glad this is going to you. I'm really glad this is going to you because Tim helped me out by mixing up a bunch of liquid just of his own volition. I said, hey, can you do me a favor? He's like, yes. And he just mixed up a bunch of liquid for me. Didn't ask for anything in return. Just said, here's a favor. Just you're welcome. I'll just do that. And I thought, well, that's so great. I need to get something for Tim as like a thank you. As a thank you for mixing up all that liquid for me. But... Here's my thank you. Tim, congratulations. You freaking won. Advocate for Liberty. Advocate for Liberty. I'm going to write your name on the back here. Tim with two hearts. And then I'm going to sign it. Freaking congratulations, Tim. The freaking Advocate for Liberty. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. You're going to be the first dude besides me in the entire United States of America, maybe the entire world, bro, that has a limited edition Vaporesso Grim Green collaboration Cross 3 Nano. I mean, hell yeah. I'm so stoked for you. I still haven't seen you pop up in the chat. Maybe you did. Maybe I missed it. Oh, there you are. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The maggots are falling like rain. Congratulations, Tim. Now the correct answer, 31. I have 31 completely vapable things that I could just grab and vape. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 of those are pods. So I basically have 16 pods and 14 other devices, Boro, RTA, RDA, 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 Stubby, RDA, RDA, Squonk, Orion, two Boros, 31 vapable things on my desk. 31, is that too many? <laughs> For me, as, as a vapor on YouTube, is that too many? That's not too many, is it? Well, it's about to be like 33 on Tuesday, and then it's going to be uh, 40 by the end of the week. Busting. Congratulations, Tim. Congratulations. 31. 31. Look, that's just the way Grim Green rolls. I can't help it. Um, yeah, I see you, Tim. Woohoo! Congratulations, Tim. 
I'm so stoked. I'll, I'll send you some other stuff too. I'll throw in some liquids or some disposables or something like that if you're into it. But shit, yeah, Tim, well done. All right, well, let's wrap this vlog up. It's 7.30. It's 7.30. That was a hell of a contest. We don't have a poll still, correct? The poll is still foobard. The poll still doesn't uh, make any sense. Yeah, okay. The poll is gone. No, I still can't start a poll. But if I refresh this, I guarantee you the poll will be back there. The poll will so be back there. Yeah, great. Okay. Errored out poll that I can't end. So here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. No, that's the wrong pen. Here's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to do a very random liquid tasting. Thank you, Addy Tooney. Thank you. I appreciate you for that for that up there. Uh, oh, yeah. Let's, let's get into the Super Chats. I'm sorry. I completely spaced that. Uh, let's see. Ashlyn. We had Kennedy with the really, really, really itchy back tattoo. Do you just go bear style? Like you just rub it on like the corner of a wall, you know, where corners meet. You ever do that? I've never been tattooed on my back, so I don't know exactly what that feels like. I'm imagining, you know, I can extrapolate. I know I've been tattooed most everywhere else on my body. I can imagine. I hope you scratch that itch. Ashley, Ashley Smith. Vaping has helped me when I'm in an anxiety attack. My boyfriend told me about it. Hell yeah. Uh, vaping... Nicotine is what, what's helping your anxiety attack. Nicotine is absolutely good for anxiety. There's, there's organizations out there like the Truth Initiative. They're going to tell you that nicotine causes anxiety. It's incorrect. People with anxiety, like neurodivergent people who have ADHD or anxiety, you self-medicate. We self-medicate with nicotine. I self-medicate with nicotine. I know exactly how much nicotine my body needs and I give it that and I'm good and I feel fantastic. I'm so glad that vaping helped you through an anxiety attack and I hope it helps you through many more, uh, many more anxiety attacks. In fact, I would just like you to have no more anxiety attacks. Like that would be the ideal situation, Ashley. Shout out to you. Shout out to your boyfriend. Appreciate you guys being here. Fishy violently sneezing. That's your decision. More seat belt. Violently sneezing. You would rather violently sneeze. Just violently sneeze every 18 minutes, every 12 minutes. Uh, tribal Buddha. <laughs> done. Done. Easily done, Tribal Buddha. Uh, tribal Buddha says, I'll trade you a guitar for that cross three. Here's the thing, Tribal Buddha. I couldn't possibly take a guitar from you. But if the marketplace were as suchly, then maybe we could consider something. <coughs> That's my violent sneeze. That's what I get. That was three violent sneezes in a row. Damn, all over my arm too. There's goo dripping off of Maleficent all over the place. Let's talk, Tribal Buddha. I'll gladly trade you something for a cross three, but I don't. I couldn't take a guitar from you, and I, and I have like I have a Tribal Buddha guitar, you know. I can't possibly, oh, but I appreciate you, buddy. Falk the you Fa the Q Tube family. There you go, Falk, Fa, Fa. I'm too late for the poll, but I vote for sneezing. Oh, okay. You vote. You vote for sneezing. I think I would vote for the itch. I think I would vote for the itch. And, and my well, my logic is this. I feel like I would just live in fear of the sneeze. You know, what if you're at a job interview? What if you're getting pulled over by the cops and you're sitting there and he's like, oh, can I see your license and registration? You're like, sorry, I'm going to vote. And you just have like a crazy sneeze. Or you're driving your car, you have a crazy sneeze. I would live in fear of every 18 minutes violently sneezing. But if I had an itch, say, 
somewhere on my body that no matter how much I scratched it, it just never went away. I feel like I might be able to get acclimated to that. You know what I mean? Like it's like when you're in a really hot, hot tub, you're like, mm, it doesn't feel so hot anymore. You get acclimated to it. I feel like I could get acclimated to an eternal itch, but I would live in ever loving fear of the violent sneezing attack because it could happen anytime. It could happen. You'd have to time. You wake up. What? How many times a night? Violently sneezing. You'd never get any sleep. You never get any sleep. You violently sneeze in the shower, slip, fall, head hits the ground, brains go everywhere, all because of sneezing. What if you're in the middle of uh, trying to, you know, you got a date. You're with your date on the couch. You got your girlfriend, your your wife, significant other, otherwise on the couch, and you're like, hey, how's it going? How you feeling tonight about uh, you know, just some violent sneeze? What if you're in the middle? What if you're in the middle of coitus and you just violently sneeze? I couldn't do it. I couldn't live in fear of the sneeze. You guys haven't thought this through. You should have all voted for the itch. <laughs> you haven't thought this through. What if you're on a bicycle? What if you're on a bicycle just riding? <laughs> fall, car hits you. I don't know. There's a million things that could go wrong. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to vote for the very random liquid tasting using a very rudimentary method of ones and twos. So I'm just going to have to keep track of the chat a little bit, but this is what we have up. Oh, come on. <laughs> we have Unreal. Uh, lemonade raspberry, lemon raspberry, or I'm going to get my ugly face out of here or Jord strawberry. I have been wanting to taste this Jord for a while. The unreal two is brand new lemon raspberry. We got a lemon raspberry or a strawberry. Oops. Nope. They both fell. Okay. So, so vote now. Number one is for the unreal. Number two is for the Jord Please vote. I'm going to look at the chat. We got a lot of ones right out of the gate. A lot of ones. A lot of ones. A lot of ones. There's a two. A lot of ones. There's some twos. You know, I see a lot of twos. That's that's a hell of a lot of twos. Oh, but now that's ones. Now there's ones. There's kind of ones all over the place. I, 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 think, the, I think the consensus is... One. I think it's one. I think one is gonna be the winner. One, two, 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 one, 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 two, two, one, one, two, 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 one, 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 two, one, two, two, one. Okay, okay. I appreciate you guys. You can you can stop slamming the chat. I I think the masses have spoken. I think we're going with number one. I think we're gonna go with number one tonight, okay? Sorry, Jord. Someday, someday, Jord, someday. Jord's gonna get uh, Jord's gonna get vaped. There was like five ones in a row just from Anthony Ramella. It's because I have no time limit on the chat tonight, don't I? Okay, here we go. Unreal. This looks good. Lemon and raspberry. This arrived. Uh, hang on, I'm gonna need two Nicotine shots. Murphy is dying for some attention, just dying for some attention. Good on you guys. Good on you guys. Appreciate you voting. We're going to go with one. Maybe. The... Do you ever just find fucking airflow pins in your desk that you have no idea where they go or what it's for? They're just gold airflow pins. You know, <laughs> Someday, <laughs> someday I'm going to find a use for those, go those airflow pins. Ah, all right. Unreal. Pickle should be home like a half hour ago. Okay, already that smells just like the bomb.com. 
I love a lemon raspberry. In fact, in the uncommon line, we have a lemon raspberry. We have a lemon raspberry. Uh, we got a lemon raspberry chocolate eclair that is just delightful, dude. Just freaking delightful. It was the first flavor we started working on. I love a good like lemon berry, lemon raspberry, lemon blueberry. I got high hopes for this lemon raspberry. Raspberry is one of my favorite vape flavors and it's not often pulled off in the best way possible. Gets tends to get a little tussiny, you know? If 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 ya what I mean. If ya what I mean. Gets a little tussiny as in robo tussiny. Robo tussin is what RoboCop uses when he's sick. Sorry, that was a terrible joke. Let's shake. One is the loneliest number that you'll ever do. Two can be as bad as one. It's the loneliest number since the number one. Yeah. You know what? This is going in a freaking falcon. Isn't that right? In fact, we're going to put the freaking falcon on the freaking gua. Here, down here. Blue falcon? Who's ever heard of a blue falcon? I have, and it's the blue falcon legend. Pow. Hell yeah. I'm going to put some liquid down this coil head. Uh, this coil head is mesh, but it's an interesting mesh. Allow me to show you. Are we running too long? Yes, we are. That's fine. That's fine. Can you see the mesh in there? It's like, nope. There's no way you're going to see that mesh in there. It looks like wires. There it is. There it is. Look at that mesh. There's gaps in between. So it's like a row of mesh, a gap, a row of mesh, a gap, a row of mesh, a gap, like all the way around. All the way around. I don't know what it's going to vape like. We'll see. We'll figure it out. Caitlin. Caitlin says, I haven't watched you in about eight years. Okay, I stopped vaping, but I hope you're doing well. Caitlin. Hell yeah. Thank you. I'm doing great. We're doing great. Still still chugging along. Still doing, uh, you know, doing all the vap stuff. And I'm glad that uh, I'm glad that vaping. Did you quit smoking with vaping too? And then you quit vaping. That seems to be the way to do it. Most everybody. I feel like that's a common goal. I mean, not for me because whew, nicotine. But I'm glad. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy for that for you. I love that for you. That's cool. It, I, I'm happy to see you again. Good to see you again. You know. If you watched me eight years ago, you haven't watched me in eight years, which means you stopped vaping in like 2016 or 2017. Is that when you did it? Um, I think this is properly shook. I made eye contact with the camera. You know, I followed all the rules of DIYing and shaking liquid. So yeah, buddy. Yes. Super easy three-quarter turn. Super easy three-quarter turn on and off. Effortless almost. There's a very little bit of resistance to it, but hey, the great thing about Guar is Guar goes with everything, you know, because there's some blue up here, matches. If I had a red thing on here, it's like, well, there's some red, it matches. If I had a yellow thing, it's like, oh, yellow, there's some matches. Brown, orange, black, green, blue, red. Literally every color will be matchy-matchy on top of the guar box. Reason number 8,249 to love the guar box. Uh, point two, point two, two, right on the nose. Yes. So if this is a point two, two, we're going to go to at least 60 watts, right? At least 60 watts. How about 57 watts? Quitting is not an option. Here's the thing. Quitting's always an option. Quitting's always an option. We just have to determine how realistic of an option it is. You know, it's also, 
you know, me learning how to fly a helicopter is an option. Is it a likely option? No, it's not. Is me quitting vaping a likely option? No, but it is an option. What's up over there, fried bologna? What are you doing on Twitch? Trale? Trale? Horizon Tech Falcon King for somebody who wants a shiny... Horizon Tech Falcon King for somebody who wants a new shiny blue falcon. I have a shiny new blue falcon. I'm pretty excited about it. I'm pretty excited about it. Okay, I feel like this might be properly moisturized. I want it to be wet. Okay, okay. Uh, here's the thing. I'm just going to have a toot. I didn't knuckle it. Oh, I didn't knuckle it. Holy shit, that tastes like a Slurpee. Tastes like a Slurpee right now. Uh, I'm going to vape this just for a second. I'm going to vape it. I'm going to sit with it. I'll be right back. I will be right back. I know. You could have been watching on Twitch this whole time. You drive a blue Ford Falcon, bud? <laughs> I drive a blue Ford Falcon. Should I, should I have sent this tank to you? <laughs> I want a picture of Bud Ford vaping a blue falcon in his blue falcon. I don't know why that like really is something I desire. <laughs> All right. Let me have an inaugural toot here. Yep, yep, yep. All right, all right. Uh, I'm just gonna sit with this for a hot minute. I'm gonna give you some hot seventh floor tango action. I'm gonna mute my microphone right now so you can't hear me, but I'll be right back. Okay, okay, okay. Murphy's getting antsy. He just wants to play. So, yeah, that tracks. It's almost 8 p.m. Good. Good. Oh, it's good. My first rip of it really, like, almost felt like a liquid that you would find in a disposable. It's really sweet, but not crazy, like, super sweet, 
like not exactly like a disposable but it's got like disposable qualities to it it's iced in like that very disposable way you know how disposables are like slightly iced but it's not like crazy sapwa indonesia ice it's like a, a little bit more normal of an ice this is a very normally iced liquid i wasn't expecting any icing I, ice to it like any cold to it It's a little bit icy. The lemon, it's exactly like it shows on the label. The lemon comes through way more than the raspberry, but it's very lemon raspberry. It's like lemon raspberry. You get a, you get just lemon at the beginning, and then it's immediately lemon raspberry for the rest of it. The first flavor that I get is lemon ice, and then that big deep note, that low note of raspberry comes in. It, this is really delightful. And it tastes really good on this Falcon coil head. This tank, on the other hand, I don't know. I'll, I'm, I'll, we'll wait for the review. I'll pass judgment on the review. I don't love the airflow. I don't love the airflow right now. Close down about halfway. It's a nice restriction, but it gets loud. Listen. This is the loud, loud sub tank. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, the only disposables that I used regularly and then I don't, I no longer use were the anarchist ones. He sent me a bunch of anarchist ones and I blew through the pink lemonade in like three days. I was like, well, all right, that's too much disposables for me. So I, I got rid of them all. I put them all away. I don't want to use them anymore. They have a, a normal level of ice. Maybe, maybe I need to try more disposables. It is iced. I feel like it could be a little bit sweeter. But that's just me. It's it's a little. Le it's not really approaching the sweetness fence. It's it's sweet, but it's not. I'd like it to be a little bit sweeter, honestly. And that's something I thought I'd never say. But the flavor is really good. Raspberry, lime. Like I said, it's lime raspberry. In fact, it almost reminds me like of what I'm picturing in my head because I visualize in physical form all vape liquids in my head uh this feels very much like a uh like a slushy like a, a, a slurpy type of slushy type of you know like daiquiri ice ice cream but lemon raspberry like a lemon raspberry sorbet type of sensation is exactly what i'm getting from this exactly lemon raspberry sorbet there's a little bit of ice to it so that ice cream kind of you know completes the sensation of ice cream it's really good if you don't mind ice it's really good you're telling me i can keep that blaze well i'll send you something in return i don't want to i don't want to be a freeloader i'll send you something back i'll, tr I'll trade you for it i'll trade you for it To me, ice menthol is just a cover-up. Oh, that's interesting. That's an interesting. That's an interesting take on iced liquids. I just assume. Yeah, I mean that could be a cover-up. I assume. I mean, I find that ice will nine times out of ten complement the flavor that it's with. You know, hollow, hollow. It does feel a little bit hollow. Full open, less noisy but too open halfway is where I like the restriction tell me that's not a loud tank tell me that's not a loud tank well, aren't they test like aren't they testing these in China didn't anybody like take a big rip on this with the airflow halfway closed and think well well that's a little bit loud don't you think isn't that a little bit loud? Can we ship it like that? Sure, they don't even notice. Compared to silence, compared to even this one. I guess that's a little noisy, but this is like a jet engine. <laughs> have made myself laugh <laughs> I shouldn't have made myself laugh
That was the wrong choice. All right, well. This liquid is legitimately good. This liquid is legitimately good. If you don't mind ice and you like like a raspberry lemon sorbet, this is really good. This makes me excited to try the rest of these in this line. We got a bunch of them last week. Bunch of them last week. Real nice, real delightful. They don't vape, they just make them. They have to test them though. I've seen the video of them testing all the elf bars in the factory. They have to know that this air flows loud. They have to know that this air flows loud. You hear that from across the room? Are you vaping that Falcon Legend? Yeah, how could you tell? It sounds like a jet engine. All right, well, jury's out right now on the Falcon Legend. It's going to get a full review. I'm not going to pass any judgment right now. It's literally day one. This is a coil head review, so I go for longevity. So I'll catch up with you when I catch up with you. Maybe I'll use that in the review. Maybe I won't. Anyway, holy shit. This is it. This is the end. We've reached it. Is that it? Yeah. Congratulations to Tim again for winning. Um, th this has been a really great vlog. Thank you. Let's let's go these last these few last super chats over here. Let's go these. Last uh, uh, that's right. Fuck YouTube. He voted for the sneezing for some reason. New Wave Dave says, I'll take the itch. If I sneeze every 18 minutes, the chances of me sneezing and blowing weed everywhere are just too high. Exactly. Exactly. What if you're dynavapping on a big bong and you're like, your alarm on your watch goes off. It's like 30 seconds before you violently sneeze and you're like, oh no. <coughs> Fucking yak bong explosion everywhere. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. Queen Honey Bunny. Thank you. I love you, Queen Honey Bunny. Hope you're doing well. Slater, very gracious of you, Slater. He says, uh, just got home from tattooing the father-in-law and my dog, my dog ankle tapped me as I walked in and said to give you more money because I didn't give enough for the sake of being able to walk. Here you go. I am, I am, I am sorry. I think we need to get your dog and New Wave Dave's cat together. They might start some sort of animal mafia. Rough you up. <laughs> Rough you up. Slater, can I come get tattooed by you? Can I come to New Zealand and get tattooed? Can I get a New Zealand tattoo? That would be sick. Don't tell me that wouldn't be sick. Don't tell me that wouldn't be sick. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to say goodnight. I'm going to say goodnight. And uh, I'm glad you guys were here tonight. I'm, I'm glad we did this stream um, despite the really heartbreaking news that we got earlier about Richard, AKA Valerian Steele, who will be tremendously missed by me, by my Patreon, by, by the friends he made. And, uh, I'm going to get all weepy again if I just think about it, but I'm glad we powered through this vlog. I'm glad, I'm glad we did it. I, I wish, I wish, I, I wish Richard could have been here to watch it, but, uh, I'm, I'm glad we did it. I'm glad we did the vlog. It's a hundred percent dedicated to, to Richard Valerian Steele. Um, you, 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 you're gone too soon, buddy. You're gone too soon. Damn it. And, uh, hit, hit the like button. Everybody hit the like button. Um, there is a grim green discord, but it's unfortunately it's a paid discord. It's through my Patreon. But you're more than welcome to join up in like the ten dollar tier, you know, if you want, get access to that Discord. It's sick as tits, and we hang out every Thursday in the in the Discord video hangs. I'm trying to boost that server to the maximum boostness level. But uh, thank you guys for being here tonight. Um, yeah, I mean that's all. I don't, I can't talk about Richard, or I'll, or I'll start sobbing. So I'll just say I love you guys like sincerely i mean that in, in a very sincere way it, it, if i had heard this you know anyway i'm gonna stop talking about it because it's gonna mess me up but i love you guys for real 
in a very sincere way. Thank you for being here for the vlog. Thank you for 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 keeping the vlog so awesome and so regular. I, I really do look forward to this every week. I love hanging out with you guys and, I, and I'm happy to see your faces here week after week after week. The, the onslaught against vaping, the coordinated attack against vaping is going to be relentless for the foreseeable future. COP 10's coming up this year in Panama with the World Health Organization. Who the fuck knows what they're gonna do? Who knows what the UK is gonna do? If they're gonna pull their funding for the World Health Organization, I would love to see that. I would love to see the UK be an outlier, be a front runner. Uh, you know, Sweden's already an outlier, already a front runner. We gotta defend vaping, you know? We just have to. We have no choice. We have to do it. If we wanna keep helping people quit smoking, this is the best way to quit smoking in, in our lifetimes. In our lifetimes, think about that. In our lifetimes, this is the best way to quit smoking. And I think that everybody who smokes a cigarette should have the opportunity to be able to quit the way that we did. And that is the single most easy and effortless and enjoyable way to quit smoking. And it, it hurts my my brain and my heart that people are against this, this life-saving technology. So I love you guys. Peace out. Uh, Bella, thank you. Fuck, thank you. And uh, yeah, so here's Dwayne. I love you guys. I'm going to go sob for a little bit, and then I'll see you on the hangs. Be excellent. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. Any time of year. Dun, 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 dun. I believe I can fly.